Yeah. Hey, no. Glutiny, what's up, man? I just. Yeah, man. I didn't know your favorite sushi was old little bro. All right. All right. I won't. I, I don't know if this affiliates with your sponsorship, but I wanted to ask, like, what tournaments are you thinking about traveling to, mm. like, outside of Japan? So I'm definitely going to Genesis. Genesis? Mm -hmm. Wait, That's did why. you already sign up? So yeah. Alive. So okay. alive. Okay, well, we don't care about him. Um, yeah, so Genesis and anything after that or? Ooh, there is that isn't confirmed yet. Okay. But Which I'm not supposed to say yeah, yet. Yeah, okay, if you, if, you, if you... No, no, obviously, yeah, yeah. If you don't have to say it. Um, Battle of BC. Battle of BC. I was invited. Why do you, why do you always go to Battle of BC? I don't know. There's just something about me and like the and Samuel, Samuel. No, so Samuel nice. and like um, I forgot what you call those. Uh, the BCs and the uh, I forgot what that area is. British Columbia. No, 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 no. Can I swear? Yeah, I've been having custom like. <laughs> oh okay. Oh fuck! I cannot even like remember the name. <laughs> you didn't. No, you it's didn't like a, no, it's like you a said, oh, fuck. Like you didn't even know what it was. Like, um, what it was. I forgot the name. Wait, what are you trying to say? No, no, there's like this state in America that loves me. Not Ohio. Ohio. Okay, I'll go down the list. I'm thinking like, okay, is it in New England? No. Is BBC? It? Nah, is I it hate Virginia? that. Virginia? Virginia's where I was born. I was born in Virginia. Nah. Pacific Northwest? BC? Why Why did BC remind you of America? PNW, yeah, PNW, PNW, PNW. Like, I have a lot of friends there. What's PNW? PNW is like, how do I even explain it? Let's explain it to him, please. What's a PNW? <laughs> okay, that's sorry. Hetio is like literally sitting behind the commentators, like fighting for his life right now. He's so stressed. He's like calling all these matches. That's on Canada, bro. PNW is Pacific Northwest. People were saying it in the chat a second ago. All right, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Really? Mm hmm Nice. Pacific Northwest is like, well, Oregon? Oregon and stuff like that? Seattle? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anything about America. Really? What's uh, your favorite country? Ohio. That's not a, that's, that's a, that's a state. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, if you had to be a cowboy, a samurai, or a pirate, who are you, who are you, who do you, who do you want to be? You can pick only one of the three. Wait, a cowboy, a ninja, and a pirate? Ca no, cowboy, samurai, and pirate. Oh, samurai, okay. You have to pick one of the three. Who, who are you picking? Ooh. A samurai, I guess? I don't know. What? Oh my god, worst option ever. All right, well, it's not. Fuck pirate you. is worse. But why? Why? Um. Sword. You can... Wait, sword is kind of there can be other stuff other than sword. Sword. Wait, you don't like gun with with with. I cowboy? mean, it's cool, but like, it's swords are cooler. Swords are cooler. Okay. Let me think of another question I can ask. That would be funny. Um, till we had ba has bad takes. SMH agent Oink. Shut up. <laughs> I like your profile picture on Twitter though, and I, I know who you are. I love the pig. I love pigs. God, dude, why is chat agreeing with you? That's the worst part. Yeah. Cowboy can have a sword too. Thank you, bro. Oh my god, that's exactly what I'm thinking. But it is what it is. Um. Okay. What is your favorite type of soup? My favorite type of soup. Yeah. I guess tomato. Like minestrone or like. I don't know what that is. Minestrone. I don't know what that is. You don't know? No. Okay. Tomato soup. Do you just eat it straight up, or do you eat it with like something else? Straight up. Straight up? Yeah. It's delicious. Like like from the cold meeting or like does your... Anything's does fine. Your, um, All right. What is your favorite movie? My favorite I movie. Check. Check. I don't watch movies. You don't watch movies? No. Really? No. Not even like a little bit? I mean, just a little bit. Like and you I have to have watched at least like the Avengers movies or whatever. Like Endgame or something. Titanic. Titanic? Oh, this guy's so Titanic? Are you for real? That's the only move I can think of. Are you serious? Yeah. Damn. What's going on with this? 
All right, well, uh, Neo, thank you for coming on. Bye. The person that we actually want to center is here, so. So, take your, take your, take your, take your, take your, take your. Hey, Sean! Hold on. Sean! Senna-san interview, should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so Neo's leaving because uh, I was asking him what his favorite movie was. Wait, Neo, what's your favorite animal? Cats. I like cats, too. All right. Senna san, kore, onegaishimasu. Tabako, you didn't smoke? Yes. 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 まあまあまあまあえどうでした感想は感想感想かいやめっちゃ見ててストレスでしたよもう普通にえ何俺のストレスいやいやめっちゃもう見ててもうほんまもうおしっこ丸しそうやったけどああ<笑>俺もおしっこ漏れしそうやって<笑>勝利漏れたよ、right. uh, はいおしっこ漏れたあざはい we have Senra in front of us right now we're gonna ask him some questions He's gonna answer back in Japanese and then I'm gonna translate the answers. So, chat, if you have questions for Senra, <laughs> please ask away. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> Pink. Pink? Pink. Why? It's <laughs> sexy. <laughs> Sexy, sexy. Uh, people say, why is Senra so handsome? Why is Senra so handsome? He says he gets it all the time. It's, uh, he's a product of his environment. <laughs> Ever tried Melee Puff? Did I not put it in yet? No, 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 no. no. Uh, apparently not. ね、ここで焼きそばくっていい。焼きそばくっていい。いや、よし。うん。これなんかいい感じにあ、こうや。うん。あ、センロ、who's <笑> いや、これちゃんとマイクに見て喋っとけよ、マイクに。ごめんなさい。うん。カメさんとアトリエさんとカメメ、ちゃるや。ちゃうね。と、ハスイロ、知らんやろ。知らない。と、ハスイロ、モ
いやでもなんかなんだろう。Uh, have you played previous Smash games? あの前作とかやったことなんか、うん、あんまないよね。友達んちでやったことある。うん、あ he's, he's でも X はやばいよ、ね。X 強い。あの作ったステージでカービィのストーンでドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥって。He's good at brawl and he plays Kirby and he plays he uses the down B all the time. <笑>あとプリンめっちゃでかくしてた。うん、ボールでオハシ。え、uh,、Do you wanna eat Jigglypuff? プリン食べたい。お前めっちゃ食いたい。え、Jigglypuff?、Oh. He wants to. どっちのプリン？いや、Jigglypuff。いや、絶対まずい。No, it's disgusting. <笑>ビニールの味しそう。サムネ。Apparently he thinks Jigglypuff would taste like a plastic bag. ビニール。<笑>プラスチックバッグっていうや。<笑>パフスメッセプリンテナニナニティア。ナイソノエアルファベットディプリンのランクトップサーティファイブ。トップサーティファイブ。ちょうどマンダマタカイネ、ソイソイニスト。ベスメジモ。ベスメジモナジ。イテンストップサーティファイブ、アパンリベースメジュースディセイム。ウォルモソモ。アノ。Who is Samurai's favorite player in North America? 北米で一番好きなプレイヤー。北米で一番好きなやつうん。レオって北米レオ、北米、メキシコ。いや、やっぱレオやろ。レオとベースメージと、あと、誰やったかなゲン、ジェン、あのパルテナの。ジェン、パルテナうん。おかっこいい。あと、ルイマネ。誰ルイマネ。ルイマネ。マネうん、そんなパルテナ好きなんだ。え、俺パルテナ好き。パルテナ好き。<笑><笑>え Apparently, he likes Palutena's. <laughs>、oh, that's quite interesting. Pull out. The second pull starts like really soon, in like five minutes. Who is your favorite Jigglypuff player to watch? Who is your favorite Jigglypuff player to watch? Who is your favorite ハングリーボックス。ハングリーボックス。<笑>まあさすがにね。あとまあ普通にベースメージと、ージハングリーボックスと、うん、あと、俺はね、あの、アメリカの、うん、アメリカだっけシンって人が好きです。あ、シンうん、わかるわかるわかる。シンが超好き。武田さん倒してた人ね。うん、そうそうそう。アメリカじゃねえか、あれ。あ<笑>え、それは、スマブラ勢、<笑>え無人、文字無人島にいて、<笑>行くことになって、すまずい一人持っていけるなら誰あー、if, if you could... 誰だろうな。What is it? If you could be stuck on an island, what smasher do you want to be stuck with? あの、アブラブン欲しくて、なあの結構、ふくよかなやつを連れてきたら食べたいね、そいつ。食べなあかんやん。無人島やから。だから、シュピシュピファン。<笑>ふくよかなやつ連れてって、飯食わそいつ食わんかいかんから、普通にシュピかな。Uh, he wants to be able to survive for as long as possible, so he'll resort to cannibalism. So he will take s h i p p y the f a l c o player. Cannibalism. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 なんでタイサミエル終点にしたかって質問。え,えなんか、なんか、俺、今日ベスメージ来てるやん。うん。終点強いって彼言うやん。うん。あ,あそう、ね。終点パフ。うん、うん。やりたくなってきてー。<笑>で、okay. 終点やけど、なんか彼、ステージピックおかしくて、割と。そうだね。この、まあ、バス自分から出してくんだよ。うん。こいつ、何かおかしいぞって思って、まあなんか。大があったらなんか怖い気がしてきてなんか何かがおかしかったん彼んだから、うん、なんかまあまあ自分が、so、なんか変なこと起こされへんステージ It's Space Major's influence because Space Major likes FD <笑> It's the same with Hollow Bastion and like s e m e r u s u a l l y doesn't like well most Jigglypuffs don't really like Hollow Bastion but like Space Major picks it he picks Hollow Bastion <笑> and like he started at one point as like the sets were going along he started thinking like These platforms, they're scaring me. I don't like them anymore, so he picked FD. Skinner <laughs> album. Music. <laughs> artist.、Uh, give me a. Who's the artist? Yeah, it's not. What's the music? 
浜崎あゆみのベストアルバム知らない知らねえじゃねえよ浜崎あゆみ絶対知らんやんあっち知らないあとあとなんだろうな<笑>違う<笑>俺ねあの2000年代初頭の音楽が好きあ俺が生まれた頃お腹の中で聴いてた音楽ああそう、うん、それがなんかいいねそれ一緒、うん、なんかあノスタルジーに,、うん、に浸れるわ、うん、もういいね俺だからそればっか聴いてる俺はサカナクションが好き誰やったかなさうん He likes music old music What Smash character do you think tastes the best? It's a t t e bit of a s o n a s a b r a n a character. Ah, t a t e bit of a sauna. Falco, Ulfu, Fox, Fox, Nick, Danny, a Kupa, Kupa, Kame, 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 Naka, Nihon, the sauce, Pont, Kakun, you. Ah, Saka, Kame, Ume. He said,、uh, all the spaces and Bowser. Because you can, like, turtle. Is actually a meal in Japan in like some places. He's only ever had it once. What is this? 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 うん、あと、えー、ゼニガタとか今一番倒したい相手<笑>えっ、ー、?Who do you want to beat the most? 今一えー、アトリエアトリエアトリエアトリエアトリエアトリエうんうん米あいつらに勝てんこれ自作のスマブラで、うんうん、プリンツ界に泣い続けると思ういやスマッシュシックスじゃあこれ最後の質問ね OK 好きな動物いや、何で好きな動物になっちゃうの<笑> ?OK、last question, last question.、Uh, would you eat もつ鍋何もつ鍋,もつ鍋食いますかもつ鍋マジで食うよ、俺。博多行った時めっちゃ食う。お<笑>お、九州。いや、もつ鍋ってあの、プレイヤーの方。<笑><笑>あれは、ふくよか、いやでも、ちょっといい、いい肉好きしててうまそうやね。おお、<笑>食えるよ。あ、いや、いや。あ、ウェイムスタイム。じゃあ、セナ選手、お疲れ様でした。<笑>インインタビュー終了かなあ,あ今からプール B と D が始まるというわけであ,あ,あオッケーオッケー暇じゃなかったよね実はあなたは俺はもう退場退場昼飯を食いなさいあ,あ食いたい食いたいはいいらっしゃいありがとうはいお邪魔しましたはいバイバイ Say goodbye to Sandra バイバイ<笑>はい So, I believe we are actually about to get into some games. Yes! They're the other way around. They're the other way around. But we have the first game of Pool B, I believe. This is Naucha versus Naucha, apparently. No, the guy on the left is indeed Ouch. And on the mic, I believe we are about to have Rod and Lunch,、uh, the, the, the head TO, join me. So it'll be a good time.、Uh, I'm sure everyone knows who Ouch is, but Naucha probably needs a little bit of context. He won the qualifier local to get here. He's a Diddy Kong player, Wi Fi,、oh, well, used、like、to be Wi Fi Diddy Kong player, started attending offline events a year ago. He is on the come up. What do you think? For real?、Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, two matches at the same time. Yeah, sorry,、uh, the delay is too much apparently. Watch. Okay. All right, yeah, so we got this in front of us. Yes. All right, we're good. What's, what's we're up? good, right? What's up? Yeah, 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 we're good. All right. All right. Huh? Hashi? 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 Uh, it is. This should it? be yeah, Pool B. It's Pool B. It's Pool B. Because Pool D yeah, is the first one. Yeah, But yeah, yeah. what a. Oh my god. Naucha, what a come up, man. Just went from like. He wasn't even seated top eight for the for the qualifier. And now he's up here. Kevin, you're fuck up. Playing against Ouch. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Like. Before Naucha came to this、uh, whole Cafeteria Cup thing, like you said, he was seated outside of the top eight for the qualifier. I kind of knew Naucha as the guy who never really made top eight at the Smapa locals. But like. 
ever since then, ever since he managed to get that qualifier invitation, for some reason, it felt like Naucho was like, all right, time to tap in. Yeah, bro, he's Lock been in. popping off lately, bro. Especially and at Umabura, he had a win on Aegis, uh, Raito. Who else did he beat? Like, it, it was insane. He, he beat Raito in Diddy Kong Duck Hunt. Yeah, the crazy matchup. And he, bro, if the final clip, if you've seen it on Twitter, you're going to pop off. It's absolutely crazy. He's like up smashes the can at the last hit. But anyway, enough of talking about the context of this character. I mean, of this player. We're going to get right into this match. And oh, Naucha going to be able to get the first stock here. Yeah, so something that you'll realize immediately about Naucha is he is... Uh, in terms of the spectrum of Diddy Kong players, he is by far one of the more aggressive players. He goes straight into you, no fear. The Naucha special is just short hop barreling into <laughs> your shield. <laughs> like, he, he he does all of that. He's very, very angry whenever he plays. And as we see him in a stock lead, he shows no sign of slowing down. Oh, wow. Going to be able to go it. straight through Ouch here. But Ouch going to get that Etel and another Lechap Snare for him here. Let's see if he can get the kill. Tries to find that back there, but never mind. Going to be able to find that Nair and the dash tag. Going to be able to do it for Nauchas first stock here and is looking pretty even. Yeah, looking good so far. I'm glad that Nauchas uh, completely seems to be comfortable at the moment. Uh, slightly ahead in terms of the damage race. Yeah, very unfortunate trade there with the banana. Not going to get the full extent of the combo. And Nacha going to have a little bit of a percent lead. Going to get the banana hand. Ooh, the down air, forward air, onto the platform. Just goes back and gets the banana, though. Yeah, could have maybe uh, done some like platform extension thing, but actually uh, just kind of decided on uh, running back, grabbing the banana, which sometimes you need to be able to Ooh. do. God, those tech chases are so scary. Ouch. Known for those down smashes, you got to watch out at the ledge there. Yeah, that thing is absolutely brutal. Definitely would have killed him there. Ooh, the down tilt. Gonna pick up the banana, but not gonna find the trip on that one. Gonna be able to shield that one just in time. And ooh, the back air. Gonna be able to shield it. <laughs> nice oh. parry on Nacha, though. Yeah. Ooh, the up tilt. Gonna be catching this monkey flip. Nacha on the ledge here. Looking really scary. Gonna be able to neutral get up. Nice punish on the roll. Nair again. Really good Nair in such an uncomfortable spot because even if he throw a banana, he doesn't really get too much return. Ooh, oh, oh, damn! He slapped him crazy. into the banana with the jab? This guy's coded! <laughs> Slap him into the banana, that's crazy. Yeah, but ooh. Uh, the back has a cool out, yeah. the monkey flip, and Ouch is straight back in it. Yeah, just bouncing right back immediately off the angel platform and one stock to one stock. Ouch has the banana, but never mind. Gives it up. Nice up throw. Up air. Not going to be able to find his mark though. Ooh, Nacha going to get that roll, re I mean the tech with the dash attack. Avoiding the back air. Nacho looks oh. really good at the moment. Nacho grabs the banana. What will he do with it? Try to confirm it into oh, a down no. smash, which definitely would have put Nacho in a bad spot. Survives, but with a lot of damage taken. Unfortunately, nice up air into the forward air. Nacho just got... Oh my god, he's got the banana. He definitely wants this Nair into the down air here, but yeah. Alex definitely well aware ah! of that option. Ooh, gonna miss that combo. Nice forward throw by Alex. He's got the banana hand. It's so scary over here. I feel like Alex can do so much when it comes to like low angled moves with a banana. Like, so much tech chase, like, potential that you can have, especially when you have a banana at your advantage. Ooh, oh, oh no! my god! That was definitely a miss input. He could have got that F smash ah! there and wild no, that down smash kill. tech. Yeah. yeah, definitely not killing just yet, but both of these players are just so close to death right now. Unfortunately, missing okay. the, oh, missing the tech? Down smash? Oh, down smash recovery is really smart idea, or maybe a reaction. By now, Chad, the game is completely even. We're in our final moments here. Who takes it? Oh, unfortunately, not going to be able to pick up the banana. It's definitely so hard to pick up. Nacha, gonna get hit off to the left side of the stage here. Ledge Epson Air for Alex. Let's see if he can pull this off. Ah! Gonna be able to shield it. Nice spot dodge by Nacha. Gonna live a little bit longer here. With the banana hitting him. Nice air dodge. Oh my god, it trips! Coverage? Oh! Yeah, just about does it. And Nacha taking game one. That's what I'm saying, bro. Damn. The qualifier. The qualifying champion has a point to prove here. Definitely the underdog when it comes to this tournament. And he takes the first game. Yeah, that was absolutely insane because if he didn't mess up that uh, F smash on the trip on the first one, that might have been. Actually, he probably wouldn't kill because he was like, like 90. But going to be able to keep that composure and going to get that game one against Ouch, one of the best players in the world here. Like, what, ranked top 35? Something like yeah. that. Something about Ouch, though, is that I feel like um, since he's gone in Japan, I feel like he hasn't found his footing properly with um, especially the kind of. I think he placed just under his seating at Umebro. He lost to Void. Yeah, um, but that is definitely a kind of like, it, it's a it's a rough uh, person to run into because Void, of course, you know, very good player. Nobody can ever doubt him, but you can't see him too high and unfortunately going to run him to early into brackets. So, yeah. you know, not no crazy upsets on Ouch's part, which is you got to commend because some players come to Japan and get upset really early because yeah, it's just sure. so different here. But yeah. being able to adapt to the situation. All right, we'll see how Ouch responds in this game. Oh, nice. Going to get that dash 
Oh, another one into the monkey flip. Oh, oh he's he, trying to go he was deep. looking for something. <laughs> yeah. Wolf definitely a very edge guardable character. So if Nacho can get maybe a four air off, that's going to be probably it for Wolf on an early stock. But things are looking really even again. Oh, oh. actually managed to react to the kind of Nacho hopping off the barrel in time with the F smash. And Ouch takes a very early stock. Yeah, that was nicely done because like that explosion sometimes it's like cover your entire body. So it's kind of hard to tell which side they're on right there. But. Yeah. Uh, I was going to be able to get that S smash right off. And ooh, nice dash tag into the dash tag. Up tilt going to be able to miss, though. And oh, he tried to uh, shine the banana, unfortunately. Went for the flip kick instead. Trying to find this F tilt, and he does. But of course, still not going to kill. Trying to find that up smash, but jumps too high from Ouch. We'll try to go hit, hit him with the peanut gun. Ooh, nice parry. Going to get this grab off. I was going to hit the, this back throw. Now Naucha in a bit of a deficit. Oh, that, oh, that clanked with the gun? That is actually very surprising here, but Ouch are going to live a little bit longer because of it. Nice recovery mix-up from Ouch here. Tries to get that. Oh! I was about to say, Ouch is doing such a good job of keeping his stock up, but finally, Ouch are going to be able to take it. Stocks are even. Percent is most definitely not, but still doable. Yeah, ooh, nice. Tries to find this up tilt, but going to be able to shield it. Ooh, unfortunately, the Nair going to be able to miss on that platform here. Tries to find that jab. Oh, tries no. to F-Smash straight up, and oh, trips on his own banana. But wow, still living from that up tilt. At like 140%. Right, Nacho just... playing defensively a little bit now. Yeah, nice Back kidding. air, no dash tag extension. A little too hasty with it, and you're not going to die for it, but still a lot of damage that Ouch has managed to rack up here. F tilt will most definitely kill, and Nair will also as well. Yeah, I was Ooh, playing a lot better than. <laughs> yeah, it's such a scary position on the Angel platform. Mm. I mean, he had the banana in hand, of course. Banana out of shield Ooh. is such a good option, but nice flip kick. Oh, I have to gonna go off. He's going to jump, though, I'm pretty sure. But Ouch doesn't even need oh. to use it. Wow, just couldn't get the down smash in time. What a shame for Naucha, but Ouch keeping his stock. Yeah, that was definitely very close. If he was able to get that down smash off a little bit early, and ooh, up throw into right. up air. Never mind, gonna be able to uh, air dodge a little bit too quick. Yeah, simple frame trap. So I'm surprised that monkey flip did connect. Oh! 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 <laughs> Damn! Caught him at the worst time, and that is Ouch stealing the stock, taking a game. Yeah, just great awareness for Ouch, just realizing he hits that nair if he goes deep. Like, obviously he's going to die, but such a long-lasting nair, and Ouch out without a jump. That's the only angle he could go, and boom, that's going to be a hit for Ouch's stock so early there. Getting out to game three. Yeah, give me no hands. You like Nautra's haircut? Got a fresh <laughs> yeah, he looks so different. I didn't yeah, recognize him, actually. Yeah, a cafeteria cut when I met him. He looked like a mushroom. Yeah. His, uh, but, like, he, he got that fresh cut, bro. <laughs> Clean cut. <laughs> he doesn't look like the, the the picture we drew for him anymore. Yeah. Yeah, very fortunate. <laughs> fresh to death. <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect that one. All right, game three. Yeah, right there. Ouch definitely showed a lot of adaptation in the matchup. I'm sure he's played a bunch of uh, Diddy Kong players in the past. Definitely a very common character. So, no matchup check in here. And we're back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Nice. Now you're going to be able to find this down throw. A little bit of percent over here. I feel like, yeah, that's true. This is the one pool where we kind of have, like, a, a standard array of characters. You yeah. Know, Ouch. Naucha and um, Atelier, which is a wolf PT, and then Zomba's just Zomba. Yeah, oh my god, this is such a like a 2019 pool. <laughs> this is actually crazy. <laughs> Time traveling over here. Oh, nice, gonna get that Zare into the back air. I mean, uh, the Z drop, my bad. <laughs> yeah, forgot my smash terminology. Oh, on the platform, gonna oh, guess cor incorrectly though, but Naucha doesn't have a single percent. Never mind, guess the laser on him. <laughs> but yeah, he's playing his marbles right now in the first stock. I was gonna find that forward air, but not a landing hitbox, so not gonna be able to get the. Full combo off. Ouch is completely content with taking the backseat whenever Ouch has banana. Just like playing calm, cool, and collected. Nice Quick damage for Ouch, never mind. Might just take the first one. Yeah. Air dodge is the second. Ooh, gonna be able to spot dodge that back though there. Oh, that's gonna clank and not ah, gonna be able close. to pick up the he banana. Right oh, tried to run that's up on him. Kill. Does he go for a two frame? No, unfortunately, can't get the timing right. Oh, damn! Oh! oh! That's gonna kill so early. Banana on plan to the sweet spot sweet back here. Sweet spot back here. Might as well be a smash tag at this point. <laughs> yeah. That is so strong. What a strong option to do on PSC. Yeah, and I was just looking good here with the stock lead. Of course, he was down a lot Classic. of percent, but... Oh, nice back here. Can even think right back up, actually. Good up air call out on the monkey foot up. Oh, unfortunately not gonna hit that one. Ooh, I really thought that banana was gonna get him, but yeah, but really good coverage with the up tilt anyway. It's like yeah. ouch is just completely being stuffed out at the moment whenever Naucha gets a hit. Oh, tries to find that down air. Nice banana trip into the F tilt here and now just got the percent <laughs> lead yet again. <laughs> yeah. The grab uh, hitbox actually connected for me. 
Nice tag. Dash does. in a little bit of trouble. Recovers aggressively. Ooh, what do you do point? here? Nalch finding a grab. Obviously, Nalch is shielding there because you've got to be so careful, careful of uh, getting hit by that down smash. Oh, tripping the banana. Down smash, not going to hit its mark, though. A little bit too far away. Tries to find the dash tag, but nice whiff punish on Ouch. Back on the ledge again and doesn't have the banana anymore. Ooh, nice. Really oh, going to be able to that. The recovery Damn. from Naucha and the coverage, the frame traps that Diddy Kong has. I mean, Wolf has them too, but Naucha is making the most out of his own character at the moment. Quick anti air from Ouch. Still looking for the second stock here. Naucha slightly in the lead. The Ooh. mix up yet again is just not going to. The, yeah, the, the ultra <laughs> barrels, they're not working right now. They're not working right his now. Signature move, bro. Yeah, his signature trouble. move. They, they don't work against foreign players? God damn, bro. This guy's top 35 in the world. Well, he well, it truly is at the moment. Now, is doing a fantastic job to keep up. Yeah, but things are looking extremely even right now. But, ooh, nice ooh, banana combo. Oh, 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 there. Wow. Oh, that jab not going to find it, though. Yeah, both people jabbing in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. The cross up, nobody expected that one. Ooh, nice. B reverse on that banana. Gonna be able to get back on center stage, getting this dash dash combo, flipping it into Ooh. the banana. Oh, okay. I mean, that wasn't too. <laughs> too much yeah, yeah, that, was that extra, hey, that extra one percent. Oh, every knows, percent counts, man. All right, gonna find the side B. Oh, dash dash gonna get parried, but oh, such a weird hitbox. I'm gonna find the combo. Oh god, that was scary. Yeah, nice flip. No. Pick. Oh, he's falling out of a lot of these, but of course it's gonna be on the platform, so gonna be a very weird hitbox. But both of them banana. are such high percent. If he gets this banana S smash off, that's definitely gonna be it. But. I was, of course, playing Wolf. If he just hits that in air, he can pick that up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Damn, he had him locked in there. The banana <laughs> in the flip kick. No one's oh, option. Oh, that's going to be it, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I love the plan. The little game plan that he Damn. has. Yeah, just threw the banana out and flip kicked out of it. It's like, oh, yeah, he made him shield poke. Yeah. With the, damn. He's going to fool for this one. Yeah, that was such a nice setup, but ouch, bro. He got in that call out with that smash, and that's going to be it for that stock right there. <laughs> that was so creative. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately for Naucho, they didn't work out in the end, and now Ouch goes 2-1 up. Yeah, these games have been extremely close, so Ouch can definitely pull this back, but Ouch, very determined to get on winner's side of this bracket the next day, so we'll have to see if it's going to be uh, letting up. But back on Pokemon Stadium 2, both of these players love this stage, apparently. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. Actually, yeah, I saw Ouch go entirely Pokemon Stadium 2 in his set against uh, Ken. So it's probably just an NA thing. It's like going on gentlemaning on PS2 like all the time. Mm. It's a comfortable stage usually. I feel like most people usually do that either here or like small battlefield if they prefer. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh nice snare by Ouch. Gonna have this banana in hand. A little bit too far though to get that trip off. Nice laser. Gonna be able to flip ah! kick it. Oh, gonna get called out this time. And these early recoveries keep getting punished by Ouch. Yeah, it was a bit of a hasty recovery from Ouch who thought that Ouch was probably gonna jump into him, which is why he went for the attack bit box at the monkey flip. Yeah. And then Ouch just like stayed patient and then just very easy reaction. Simple stuff from him. And now Naucha has a huge uh, mountain to climb at the moment in terms of the pace of the game. Ouch is looking so comfortable. Yeah, for sure. Especially with a stock league. Like he hasn't had a lead like this in any of the games beforehand. So he's going to be able to. Oh, wow. The Ethel actually just missing. That's very unfortunate for him. But oh, nice. Going to get this back there off. And Naucha already had 120% on his second stock here. And oh, with that lead trump. Unfortunately, not calling the DI out right there. Oh, the double banana, but oh not going to find anything. Oh my god, he just keeps missing these aerials. <laughs> yeah. He's so close. You know, like even the net for the set after the second uh, trip probably would have comboed into down air or something. Yeah, very so, unfortunate. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Nelcha just uh, missing Ooh. these. Oh my god. Damn, he's just calling him out, bro. Yeah, the call out was down so successfully in Nelcha's uh, perspective. Oh, nice. Down throw into the dash stack. Forward air. I was just going crazy. Oh, oh, my oh damn! Days. Oh my god! You had to make a statement, bro. That game was a fluke, <laughs> bro. This guy. I was saying I can't believe this guy just took a game of me, and that will be it. <laughs> disgusting. Three, Actually, disgusting. Ouch! Damn! In beautiful fashion, manages to take the set. That's crazy, bro. Cause like the rest of the games, Nauta was like straight up going even toe to toe, but I was like, bro, I want this over. Yeah, that was. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! God damn. <laughs> He wanted that finisher. It, he killed him. That was sick. Like what, he did what, the high angle one. Huh? Was he was ouch again? Ouch. He's seated like one below Nao. So oh, top eight at least. <laughs> He's seated top eight. Not just a running back. <laughs> yeah. It's like nah. I don't think that game counted actually. <laughs> we pulling the emergency. Hmm? Yeah. Pulling the emergency. Yeah. Uh, right, actually, I see AK in the room right now opposite us. Hello. Are we rolling out matches? Somebody's doing it for me. It's Archix. Oh, thank you. Sweet. 
Tom Martelli's 1-1? One, one? Really? Huh. Hold up. Hmm. I see. Yeah, if you guys want to check out the French stream right now, it's uh, twitch.tv slash Sakor underscore. It's S-A-K-O-R. So that's going to be half the matches are going to be streamed on that one for day number one at least. So be sure to check them out, man. We got like the French commentators as well. French commentators are so hyper. They, they, they go hard. Yeah. They go hard. Especially so for jealous. the players, obviously. I wish I was French. <laughs> I don't. Um, <laughs> coming into this yeah. next set, we have Apollo Kage, like I said, playing who I believe I can see right now is Kinaji. Is it? Oh, it's Jogibu. Jogibu. Oh, this oh is what God. I want to watch. Hype! Holy hype alert. Bro, I'm such a Jogibu glazer, it's absolutely unreal. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I love Apollo Kage too. I mean, like, he's such a cool person. Yeah. But, like, you know. No, Jogi Boo is like the so one. Bad. I mean, so he went raw. to Terra, didn't he? I guess Terra he did. Was his That's first. such an unfortunate one because, like, Jogi Boo doesn't bro. travel often, goes to Terra, just had such a, like, you know, didn't play his best that day. Yeah. But here in his home region, he defended, bro. Yeah. Actually, we'll see because I'm actually really, I don't know what the outcome of this match would be, man. Because mm. Paul Kegge, phenomenal player, you know. I mean, Jogi Boo, though. Definitely, I'd, I'd like to say well and truly a uh, top 50 player. I think in most rankings he is I mean, top yeah. 50. I, uh, I played friendlies with him this morning just because he was the first one here. He actually beat me. So What? Yeah. Dude, it's... he's got to be like better than top 50. That's got to be like top 20 player in the world right there. Probably top one, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. And Joe could be very like, he knows the snake matchup like down to the essence, bro. He like <laughs> destroyed Hurt the last time they played. Yeah. But Apollo Kage, of course, plays so different. And, oh. Oh. oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf that down, Jogi Boo. Go Damn. Ahead. Get ready for this game. Yeah. Got that thirst meter up, bro. Yeah. He ready. He ready. AK, on the other hand, uh, kind of uh, underperformed. Oh, he's got hand uh, warmers. I'd probably say. Oh, the Kaido. Yeah. Kaido, they must start. Uh, I don't know why. It's, um, yeah. AK, I think a bit of a subpar performance. Uh, Umibura uh, ran into that's just, Ocha yeah, that's unlucky. Rosalina. Bad matchup plus. Ocho was on absolute fire that day. You notice how, like, Rosalina players always upset international players just because, like, there's no Rosas besides the Buzz in, like, America? Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Hey, there's so many Rosas here. And Min Min. It is wild. <laughs> All right. Are you typing on Twitch? No, no, oh, I'm not typing on Twitch. I'm just uh, reading chat. Is chat hype, bro? Is chat hype for chat this match? Most indeed. Bro, hype. I'm actually hella hype. Yep. Oh, he got the hat on the back, too, bro. Got the headphones on. Let's go. <coughs> I like that AK like pulls his hat to the back as opposed to like just like putting it on the table. Yeah. Or anything like that. He brings it everywhere. He does. He yeah. really, really does. Yeah. He I mean, I guess he can't really. I can't. He really, can't, can't really uh, take it anywhere. I mean, he's actually very lenient on letting people wear the hat. You know. Yeah. Which is very nice of him. Well, he thought he'd be like my hat. Yeah. No, nah, that's what I expected, bro. <laughs> it's like Dora it gives power. tried to get it once he. Uh, you know how Dora Miggy. Yeah. He was wearing it. I had like to track him down, bro. Yeah. Tackled him on the spot. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I like to imagine it's like Lord of the Rings, the ring that like talks to you. I think the hat talks to him probably. Gives him mid-set coaching. <laughs> He's evil. Come harder. <laughs> Come harder. Poor grenade. <laughs> P reverse grenade in disadvantage. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Me win the hat. It's like Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, we forgot to check underneath the hat to see. Yeah. Button check? Okay, we're doing button. Okay, <laughs> thank you, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be a rat underneath this straw hat, bro. No, it's hurt. <laughs> oh, it's hurt underneath it hurts the hat. inside the hat. Oh, damn. Yeah. I didn't know he could fit in there. Oh, yeah. It's pretty sick. Uh, we're gonna do a button check, by the way. Before oh, the match. Yeah. yeah, sure. Sounds good. I mean, yeah. it's our first. Wait, what happened in the other. It is their first set of the day, right? Yeah, first set of the day. Yeah. They've been warming up, though. Jogi Boo was here bright and early. First one here, actually. Yeah, like I said, I play friendlies with him. Yeah. Yeah. So it's time to get things to come in those friendly. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know how the other ones. Like went. I said, he beat me in every single game. Like, that's holy goat. It's quite. That's something. Oh, okay, I was scared for a second. Mega man. I mean, Apollo Kage always does have the Steve if he's like feeling like this is a bad matchup, but I'm sure he's sticking with this. I don't know how <coughs> ready his Steve is against top 50 players, though. Yeah. I mean, Steve's definitely such a different character than Snake, especially because Snake isn't like the standard character either. So he's a bit to touch up. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's pretty good. It just lost to like Ike, which is like really good as well. And then you know, Snake Steve isn't that bad. Ike is one of those weird players who like 
he he just doesn't really turn up to too many locals and stuff like that. So people forget about him until he pops up at Kagaribi and everyone's like, oh yeah, this guy. Yeah. Just like, it's like Dio. the crap out of anyone. Did he yeah. take a game off of like Spargo or something? Who? I think. He had to play Spargo, I think. <coughs> he yeah. took games, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot he got far in that Kagaribi. Yeah. Shout out to Ike. Bro, the Snake Nation is so strong. There's like I know. so many top One of the players. most represented characters in uh, the yeah, just, game. Just any major. Yeah, you'll see the like how many characters in top 300 something something, and there's like 20 snakes. All 300 of snakes. Yeah, pretty much. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, oh thank okay. you. Wow, thanks so very nice. much. Nice. Shout outs to staff member Tobu. All right. Getting straight into it. This is, in my humble opinion, uh, the the probably going to be the set of the day. I really wanted to see how this I mean, there's go. like so many hype sets going on, but of course, like this is a long awaited one. Everyone in America loves Jogibu, but of course you don't get to see him because lives in Japan, hasn't gone to the US just yet, but you know, we'll see how this goes. Oh, nice. Gonna be able to get that forward. Yeah, quick damage off of the gray. Couldn't connect the f -tail. I don't know if he wanted a dash tag or he thought the f -tail was going to connect. That is a C4 on you, brother. Yeah, ooh, Delta. Uh -oh. oh, damn. Guess that up smash, oh. though. Nice. Oh, oh my just god! Out Zero of death? Zero to death to start things off. And Jogi Boo is he's, he's going crazy. At the moment, Apollo Kage saying, I am not hurt. <laughs> this oh. is going to go differently. Yeah, Jogi Boo trying to find the bad DI on that, trying to get that need to bounce right back. But unfortunately, Apollo Kage well aware of that option. Jogi Boo trying to make this back here. But ooh, finding a down air. Nice back throw. Just in time for the grenades. And trying to find this two frame. Not going to find it. Ooh. Oh, he was cooking. Yeah, snuffing out that up B. Great awareness by Apollo Kage because that up B just works wonders in this matchup, man. Just like, of course, Snake loves to hold chill with a grenade and having an option to, like, beat that. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you say that, man? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very cool, in my opinion. So far at the moment, uh, that first minute, it felt like Jogibu was kind of about to go in with his usual game plan of just like aggression, aggression, aggression. Got stuffed out with a couple back airs and grenades and was like, okay, I I'm never gonna mind. slow down. I got yeah. to slow he down. humbled him a little bit. <laughs> humbled him. <laughs> yeah. Humbled him. Bro, this ain't hurt. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah. Oh, nice. Gonna get that back here now. Apollokage off stage. Of course, Falcon, one of the few characters that can go off stage that far and be able to have like a uh, hit. Ah! Oh, damn, that killed already? Apollokage having a two-stock lead at the moment in this game one, and Jogubu, he's trying to bounce back and try to find the back air, but he's playing on this platform extremely well. Oh, we're trying to find that air dodge with the pointer. That could have been disastrous. He might have been trying to go for a three-stock there. Yeah. Nice back throw. the back throw. you got to find the kill sometime soon, or else the game is going to run away from your hands. Apollokage very content with playing defensively. Ooh, oh, the Tomahawk, but I feel like the grenade saved him there. That definitely yeah. went kill. Oh my god, saved him again. Maybe these grabs don't matter. Maybe grenade just beats out every option, actually. Oh, not going to detonate on that one, though. Jokubu hasn't been up being much, though. That, that, that's one thing. Oh. Usually I see Jokubu up being like five times per second, but uh, this time around, he's really content with just playing like a more conservative game. Maybe he doesn't really want to... Oh, well. <laughs> speak of the devil. Yeah. Ooh, nice forward throw. Oh, oh damn! He really went for that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would have been... Oh, God. my God! Okay. Apollo Kage, no stranger to throwing out those air smashes at the ledge for the two-frame. Very, very good at hitting them. Yeah. And, like, on Captain Falcon 2, it's, like, a lot easier than the uh, rest of the characters in the cast. So, yeah. very scary option. Especially at the ledge, man. That's It kills so early. But... Jogubu, he's playing this pretty safe, pretty, this, uh, pretty slow now. He, he's able to live a lot longer with this last stock, but Polakage having the pace of this oh so God. nice. The shield oh. poke set up. Yeah, damn, trying to get back onto the stage, but this is looking so rough. Nice neutral get up timing, though. Trying to find that down. Oh, narrow one, gonna clank with a grenade. Nice Falcon kick. Is he gonna be able to get back on stage? And yeah, oh, oh my. Suspicious hitbox coming out from Apollo Kage. Hmm. Someone check the switch, please. <laughs> but in the meantime, it is going to be Apollo Kage going up a game. Yeah, Jokubu, he's, he's the reverse 3 0 king, though. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm not yeah. saying that, like, he's going to do it, but if you see Jokubu lose a game, it's like the. I'm not worried at all, bro. Like, yeah. Have you seen the reverse, like, the statistics of the reverse, reverse 3 0s on, like, Yara? Time. Last time I saw him reverse 3 0 someone, it was Semra, and I cried. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that bracket, he reverse 3 0 like, four times. <laughs> Pro just trying to give everyone a heart attack. Master of adaptation, or in other words, he throws for the first two games. You can say that. Yeah. You can say that. But Apollo Kage just looked so confident in that match and definitely looked like he knew the Captain Falcon matchup as well. I don't know if there's any good Captain Falcons in like his region, St. Louis, but I mean, hey, he was pretty on top of those uppies because sometimes those uppies, it's like so hard to deal with because you can't dash back. Because, right. like, it reaches so far, yeah. so you can never dash back on that command grab. But being able to just snuff it out with quick moves, like uh, down tilt and just, like, grenades, 
very well played by Apollo Kage, but we're going to be on Battlefield right here. We're not going to find the full hitbox of that one. Very unfortunate. Yeah, interesting that Apollo Kage is just content with uh, Jogibu going to Battlefield. Doesn't feel the need to ban it, because I'm sure Snake has the strengths on the stage as well. Oh. But Jogibu on Battlefield is it's, it's a scary sight. Oh, oh, wow. They're just, actually stuffing out the upbeat. Just barely going to get him up. <laughs> Jogibu off to a lot better of a start than the game number one here. For sure. And the platforms, they're going to be really scared to deal with, especially as Snake when you're trying to land, because, of course, Captain Falcon has so many good options to try and catch you, like the upbeat, things like that. But Palakage at 140 here. Oh, nice air dodge. Not going to die to that just yet, but that back air, yeah, still living, actually. Like, even if he goes for these upbeats, he can also mix up his landing as well, even if he misses the upbeat. So it's like a really safe stage to go to whenever Apollo Kage tries to recover high. Yeah, nice clank there with the upbeat, just extending his life for a little bit longer here, but Jacobu playing it safe, just getting his movement off, and oh, that dash attack! Actually going to barely just kill here, and Jokubu having <laughs> he the lead. for it. Just yeah, like, I'll take the damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, very unfortunate clank there for Apollo Kage, but... Right now, Jigga has got the lead and he's playing this corner so well. Ooh, trying to find that landing there. Gonna find it though. Okay, again, playing the corner, but of course he doesn't have the lead anymore. He has to approach eventually. Nice nair. Gonna clank with the grenade again though. Quick little bit of percent on both of the players. Spacing the nair, but this time around a grenade into the back end. Not gonna kill, but. Ooh. Yeah, that was so scary. Ooh, nice option from Jogibo to get off. And oh, he forgot about that C4. That's gonna be it for Jogibo's first stock here. Oh, nice up B. He keeps ca getting clanked with the grenade, though. Yeah, but at the moment when Jogibu is in the percentage lead, I suppose it favors him slightly. Yeah, for sure. Jogibu still getting the lead, but of course. Oh, wow. Just straight up Falcon kick. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, it has to go for oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Jogibu actually just went for the up and it connected first before Apollo Kage tried to do anything sneaky there. Could have. Could have been a lot of trouble. Oh my god, if Apollo Kage up there, like it feels yeah. faster. Or like a forward air. Yeah. <laughs> the not the spike yeah, hitbox yeah, just yeah, kills yeah, up the yeah. top. <laughs> that would have been brutal. Jacobu at 109%, but trying to keep on to it. We're trying to find that landing there, but Apollo oh, Kage never giving it to him, man. Nice up air confirmed there, and things like, are looking hell The damage even. Apollo Kage is doing, to be honest, is just like him overextending. And Apollo Kage just like really simply punishing him with a yeah. bunch of damage. Just the king of reversals, Ooh, and oh, this up. is so oh, scary. Oh no! Oh, he's living? Oh my god, I thought that was death for sure, especially on the top Off platform. the top platform, yeah. Yeah, I guess just no rage in the fact that Jigaboo was at, what, like 50 when he got hit by that? Yeah. But that is such a scary situation. Jigaboo, calm as a cucumber though, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's playing a lot calmer in this game too, but he's let this lead run away from him. Stock out is even though, so anything is possible, especially when you think about Jogibu's combos. It's just the fact that AK can break out with grenades and stuff makes it like quite committal to go for these like grabs into light up airs and whatnot. Uh, Jigaboo playing this so safe. He knows just like any bad uh, approach is definitely gonna get punished by an up tilt, something like that. So, oh, air dodging in, gonna find this one. Oh, the jab. Oh, jab, jab. Wow, okay, just a run up jab. What's maybe try to get something that? a little sneaky there with maybe yeah. a down air or like an air dodge call out. But oh man, these C4s are just blowing up so much. It's so scary. He ah, could definitely die to any okay. of these C4s, but I'll smash. Not gonna kill him. Oh, damn! He keeps forgetting that AK just completely read that roll. That's yeah. crazy. It's a minefield out there, man. You cannot be caught slipping against Apollo Kage. He just, he knows. It's like a child to him. You could yeah. never lose your child. <laughs> That's one way to yeah. <laughs> make that analogy. All right, well, Apollo Kage going 2-0 up, but you know what that means. You know what <laughs> that means. That's true. It's Even better time, than bro. the MK it's Leo uh, game four, perhaps. It's Jogi Boo game three, four, five. <laughs> yeah. Loki. It's crazy too, because in these reverse 3-0s, he'll just straight up be getting three stocked. And then he'll like make it back on the last stock somehow. But oh my god, he's smiling at himself. <laughs> Apollo Kage feeling himself, bro. He, he gonna shut him down. <laughs> Damn. Apollo Kage, you can't be smiling Joyous. too hard he because joins. this is where Jokibu stops throwing. <laughs> Game three, let's go. Oh, nice. Oh, just straight just, up. Oh, 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 up, up to, up to. Back air, back air. Oh, oh, back air. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, please. Oh, my God. Okay, that could have been definitely a clip. Still extending this clip, actually. Up oh, smash, not going to hit by these jabs. Oh, my God. He's not laying it off the ledge. Brilliant recovery, though. Oh, nice up It's an up This oh could be God. gone. Oh, my God. I oh. thought the up was going the other I way. so, yeah. too. <laughs> that would have been brutal. Jogibu off stage though now with the Nikita. Nice patience by... Oh, my God. That was a mix-up and a half. Yeah. Wow. Just, just straight up calling wow, that wow, out. Wow, wow, wow. He's just so aware of Jogibu's options right now and Brilliant immediately recovery. up tilting that up B and that's gonna be death right there. It's interesting how AK is literally making this matchup look like 
really, really difficult for Falcon in terms of like trying to look for that advantage state and maintaining that advantage state as well, just because his oh, no recoveries jump. have been constantly so, so good. Yeah, it's absolutely insane, man. And Apollo Kage up an entire healthy stock here. Shigabu, again, playing patiently yeah, around the grenade, but... Yeah, to get in. Yeah, you like gotta put something. Oh! That. Ooh, sour spot, but not gonna kill. Surely. Oh my, oh my the God. coverage with the... The grenade? That yeah, that's different. insane. That yeah. was enough, though. Oh, yeah. My right, first stock out of the way. Now even stocks, but of course, Apollo Kage just playing phenomenally this, this entire set. This man is a master set. of the grenades. It's absurd. Ooh! Again, Damn, he can still him out of that. Yeah, it's yeah. quite interesting. Because he called out that shield, but oh, nice C4. Gonna do it to Jokey Boot yet again. He's getting so many C4 kills in this game. <laughs> he's just mixing him so hard right now. The grenades yeah. keep mixing him up. Yeah, oh, Quick nice. there. Jokey Boot already on his last dog. We could be on the verge of a resounding 3-0. Oh, nice back air. Definitely didn't expect it to go this way. Ooh. If that were the case, but the stomp into the abyss. Uh, Apollo Kage has been air dodging for a recovery one too many times, just been relying on that a little too heavily. And now, all of a sudden, with a couple grenades in Apollo Kage's face, oh. it's looking to Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, find us up air. Find okay. us up B. Does it go deep? Never mind, just gonna play it safe. Read that oh, oh my god, that's not death, right? Yeah, no. Snake is way too heavy. What do you do? What do you do? Scouting for another one. Oh my oh, god, he read that Wow, dodge. that actually didn't hit. Yeah, maybe a Nair one would have uh, connected into a confirm, but he just didn't commit to it. Went for the raw knee and it didn't oh. work out. That was so close. If that back hit, that back definitely would have been it. Man, he wants this knee so bad, he wants to stomp, but if he hits by an up tilt. Oh my oh, god, this is so scary. Tries to find that this. Falcon kick. Not finding it. Polakage putting so many nays <gasps> on the ground oh, now. Oh my god. How does oh. he even get in just about avoiding the C4? Oh, the back of trades. This is looking so close. Yogi at 173%. Ow! Oh, the grenade. Stop running into grenades. Even a grenade could kill at this point. Oh my god, this is so close. 196 Apollo on Yogi He will die to a gentle kiss from Apollo Gage. Yeah, trying to find this up tilt too. He's trying to get these low profiles, but Yogi is playing this so safe. But it's oh! So oh my god, the trip back. Oh my back god, it's 207% on Yogi and he's still living. Let's try and find this here. Oh! <laughs> Cold. That was cold, that was cold. Damn! I didn't even remember that C4 was there either. That's absolutely insane, just that coverage. He wanted to trip back so far and he couldn't chase him, man. That C4 was covering the ledge. It was the coolest finish in Apollo Kage. That is exactly how you expect him to be in those intense situations. Jogibu, you, you can see him yeah, he, nodding yeah. his head. Yeah, yeah fair enough. <laughs> yeah, very well played there by Jogibu. I mean, by Apollo Kage. Why did I say that? That was impressive. Oh, that was it impressive. was. Sorry, oh, I forgot. Oh. We were. <laughs> yeah, I got the ball. Ah, look at you. Oh, ah, let's go. Huh? Game counts. Game counts um, I think if it's matter. close. If it's close. Yeah. <laughs> that's why that's popped popped off after the Yeah, you want to get on the mic for a second? <laughs> yeah, you want to say it? That was for you, Hurt. That was for her, apparently. Thank you, AK. Damn. Let's go, AK. That was impressive, man. Because going into that, I was like, damn, there's not really Captain Falcons on the caliber of uh, Jogaboo in America. Like, you know, there's people like Sean, not you. Uh, <laughs> I, except your Falcons also you mean raw. Me? Yeah, your Falcons also raw. So. Yeah. But yeah, well. Some people think that me and uh, the Sean from the US are like different people. Uh, we're not, we're the same people. Me and, <laughs> me and that Falcon, we're the, we're the same person. Oh. We're definitely the same person. We just live on opposite sides of the world. Pretty much. Oh. Alright, what are we having up next? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, oh I just said something there. Said. Uh, anyway. Or new. I <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just jealous. I'm a hater. Coming into this next set. Who do we have next? I guess we'll find out. In the know. meantime, Where's chat, Matrix? how are you doing? Um, how was that set? Yeah, I hope actually. you're having a good time. We have some very good sets. Mm -hmm. Had some very good sets. I believe Atelier might be the next one to get on. So it's Atelier Alcha or Atelier Naucha, I suppose. Atelier Naucha? Or Atelier Alch, it's one of the two. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Ditto's happening, actually. I think it's Alch. It makes more sense. I, well, what's been going on on the uh, other bracket? Like, who's been winning? In the I have French stream. No idea. Let's have a look. Uh, which poll did they do again? I, the text box is covering this whole thing. Wait, so we did this. Yeah, no, this text box. So boxes. first one. I, I think they were reporting. Okay, so Atelier lost. Oh, game five PT with Zamba. Damn, that must oh, have been high. Oh, damn. Really? Really? What happened? 
Okay. It, basically, it was like last hit, last stock. Damn. Bro, and I'm not gonna like, dude. I tell you, it's Loki like cooking him a couple games. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I love Zamba. He's, so he's like even staying at my house, but like, bro, I tell you, just so goaded, man. It's like, so wrong. So wrong, bro. why are we glazing him and he lost, bro? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, Zamba, Zamba became my best friend yesterday after getting really drunk with him. But listen, I'm the biggest Atelier Glazer known to man. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna compete right. for that title, but oh, it is Ouch Atelier. Okay. We unfortunately got the tea bottle in front of Atelier's face, but. <laughs> uh, can you. Fuk-san,その、あ、あとさんの前のお茶、どけて。ありがとう。Bro, this, this match is gonna be so hype. This is uh, crazy, man. This is like the first, like, top-level wolf title, like, ever. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, unless it's how it like, goes PT, but... Oh, that's true. I, uh, hosted, like, a friendly session thing at a local, uh -huh. where, like, both of these two came, and when they were playing for about 15, 20 minutes, they played the ditto. Like, only the ditto. How so was it? didn't go PT. You just keep track of the games or not? Uh, dead even. Dead even? Oh yeah. my god, we were about to have a banger! I think Italia maybe just won more. Okay. Oh, Smashville. Oh, damn, bro. They, they are scrapping, bro. Smashville? Oh my god. These players are so sick. I'm, I'm expecting a lot out of Italia when I invited him to Cafeteria Cup. Like, I, I really think... Like, Italia has been that one th person, right? Ever since uh, that one time at Kagarivi a couple years ago, he got second. Yep. That was his breakout tournament. Ever since then, he got signed to Team Liquid afterwards, but could never really reach his full potential, I yeah. think. And I say never really reach his full potential because I still do think it is there somewhere. I he think just it's doesn't, inside. He just doesn't need the pressure. It just... Oh, damn, bro. No oh, the PT's out. Ever. Playing entire friendlies with Wolf? Nah. <laughs> nah, bro. He's not giving him the matchup at all. He was sandbagging the whole time. <laughs> I knew <laughs> it. That's Elia. How dare you? He's back. Got Gribby 3 Atelier. Oh my god, but this is definitely going to be a very hype set. Atelier, of course, we haven't been seeing the PT from him as much as of lately. He's been sticking mostly to Wolf, but yeah, we're true. seeing to see the renaissance, I guess, of the PT, which is very surprising because PT's kind of fallen off in the meta recently. It's not a lot of people uh, playing. Yeah, on. like the most, uh, I, I suppose the strongest representative of PT in someone like Quid. Like, he just doesn't really attend too much events, as uh, far as I'm aware. And then, like, there's, like, a few in the U.S. There really aren't too many in Japan, like, top-level PT representatives. Yeah. Atelier is still probably the best, to be honest. Yeah, Atelier no, no, is also very good, obviously. Yeah, definitely very good. But right now, things are really even. Sticking with the Squirtle. Ouch. Right now, he's trying to find this landing forward air into the confirm to immediately kill him. But nice. Throw into the up air. Nice up air again. And ooh, I, I love Atelier's usage of the water gun, by the way. Because it's basically like getting a free hit that doesn't do like it, percent. It's free advantage, though, yeah. basically. And so like that is, of course, so ooh. important, especially at the top level. And wow, nice. Oh, cancel back air into the quick pivot grab. Yeah, ooh. Oh, that, that's really hard to react to, even for Atelier, who, <laughs> of course, plays Wolf and knows that when that's yeah. going. Why don't our local Lu Wolf players do that? Oh, what the hell? Oh, nice. I feel like I should be seeing that more. Into the jab. Oh, gonna call out that switch. Probably expected a dash stack. Right, tech chase. I uh, can't get it wrong. I think Atelier tried to go for a jab block, but Ouch obviously too quick with it. Two up airs. Mm, nice. Yeah, quick bit of percent right now. And already at 53. Gonna be able to take this though. No forward smash coming in. And oh wow, could barely duck that with the down tilt from Ivysaur. And we'll tries to find that huge nair off stage, but fortunately for him, gonna be able to get off. The parry? Never mind, it was on a jab and just committing fully to it. Oh wow, okay, just run up grab. Let me chase them. Come back! <laughs> Still looking for the kill though, Aww. and yeah, the re-grab, I don't think Alge meant to do that, but regardless, it is Atelier taking the stock, keeping the stock count even. Uh oh, nice snare. And Alge, yeah, of course, he's playing the stock lead so nicely right now. Oh, oh my god, god. Yeah. he tried to go all for it with that down smash. Definitely would have killed Squirtle there, but now getting reversal onto the ledge now. And oh, try to find that grab. I always, oh! Yeah, I always find it really interesting how like Atelier really likes sticking to Squirtle, even at percents like these, where like he knows that Alge will go for these like Camille smash attacks. Well, not too Camille with Wolf, but maybe he's just baiting them out. If anything, you can play my games like with that. Uh, but yeah, Atelier still on the Squirtle at the moment, slowly keeping the game even. I'd say out of the three, Atelier is definitely the most, <coughs> not only the most capable with Squirtle, but maybe it's just you see it the most. Yeah, like, that's definitely true. He's not afraid of kill percent whatsoever. Switching to the Ivysaur here for that. Oh, wow. That down air. Just barely gonna miss. I was gonna get back onto the stage here. Oh, hey! he had that read. Oh, wow, the up air missing too. A little bit too far onto the ground. And nice back air from Alex. Gonna be 
Yeah, we'll have a stock lead now, but he's on Charizard. Nice forward throw. Both players are doing so good in like avoiding. Oh, all the hatchet into oh, damn. Both what? players are doing <laughs> such a good job in just like avoiding each other's like kill confirms and uh, just like raw kill moves. Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, Atelier knows this character in and out. But yeah. Ouch, I'm not so sure. Ouch is throwing out so many kill moves whenever like Atelier is in the 70 to 80 percent range. Yeah, he's just avoiding every single one. Yeah, nice jab from Atelier here, but ooh, nice landing forward. That's going to be a big percent of damage, 42% now, finding the laser as well. Nice up Snare for Alex, and ooh, tries to call that out with the up air. Yeah, Let's safe uh, parry into the grab, uh, jab punish. Oh, right. damn. Could be damage. Yeah, this is going to be a huge amount of percent, especially on a fast faller, but unfortunately not going to find that aerial. Ooh, that F smash, so close to hitting. Nice down throw. Try to find that forward air, but Alex with a good DI. All right, still fine, content with sticking to Squirtle, looking for these tech choices. Oh, Tell nice you, two back airs in a row. Ouch, still has his jump, but doesn't decide to use it with the side B. Calm recovery, back oh. air into... Oh! oh my god, tried to get that missed tech, but I'll, I mean, Atelier, a little bit too aware here, and he wants this downer so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna find it, though. Ouch, at the ledge up scenario. Oh, he's tried to mix them up, but he was ready nice for that. awareness. Yeah. Ouch here. In the corner. Oh, tries to find that back here. Tell you he's not going to be caught jumping Reverse. whatsoever, though. Pivot down to Archie connecting. Yeah, so surprising. And oh my god, he wants this down air to up air, bro. Signature Atelier combo. I think that's what he hit on Zachary to win. Oh, oh god, yeah. We grab. Yeah, that's going to yeah, be it. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate uh, from Atelier there. A little too hasty with that up B. He really believed that it would connect. And ouch, spacing himself perfectly to be able to go for a quick uh, punish with the F tilt on the ledge. Yeah, that f -tool sometimes doesn't kill, but of course, on a small stage like Smashville, and then like wasn't really stale at all, and 140%, that's definitely going to do it, but let's see what Atelier decides to pick here, because, you know, he was playing Jungle the Wolf uh in the friendlies, but, you know, decides to pull out the PT you for a quick little, little matchup check. Oh, Pokemon Stadium too. Nice, let's go. He'll probably sit to PT, I think. Yeah, I think so. Right. Both these players just <laughs> locked and loaded. Yeah. I mean, he's probably thinking about. It. Oh yeah, okay, just thinking about. It. Uh, sticking to it. Going into game two, a much bigger stage this time around. Yeah, you can do a lot more dashbacks on this stage, and definitely gonna be able to benefit Scorto because that yeah, Scorto can so live for longer. Unbelievably <laughs> so fast, and oh yeah, that as well. But nice little quick combo here by Atelier, trying to find that tech chase. But both these players are not falling for it whatsoever, man. I mean, Wolf, definitely a character that can, like, uh, tech chase. Really? Oh, oh my god! Is that it? What? Oh, wait. Did switching actually save I think save switching him? actually cancelled the momentum, yeah. Wow, that, that might have insane. literally been the case. Really smart from Atelier. Yeah, Atelier had that lead. Oh, like, only a quick that's six. That's it, that's literally death. Wow. Oh, my god. The Razor Leaf into the up, <laughs> up air. And up air, a very lethal move. And that's definitely going to kill. Atelier trying to recover here. Yeah, just about drifting out of the back air with uh, that air drift. Now, oh, F tilt gonna be able to hit him this time though, and yeah, interesting how like the edge of Alch's Wolf F tilt manages to um, cover the two frame without Wolf getting hit by Squirtle's Uppy. Yeah. Like he can outspace it. Oh, tries to switch back to Squirtle, but gonna get punished with a little bit of a combo here. And these up airs, they keep coming out, and already at 46% of Squirtle. Oh, nice parry by Atelier. Gonna get the back air off. Wow, never gonna be able to go straight through that air dodge. I was trying to find these landing forward airs, but. Atelier, of course, not giving it to him. Nice F tilt into the up throw, up air. We're down 95%, another up air. He's got ham. Yeah, oh, oh wow. my god. Had that air dodge read, but just the air dodge at the perfect time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I never what a happy up smash. Oh, damn, that up air gonna trade. That's so unfortunate. Oh, oh, oh that up oh, did not expect that. Damn, just sniping him out of the air there. Oh, wow, down smash. Not gonna be able to two frame this time, but of course, Squirtle, a very easy character to two frame. Who goes for the nair? Oh. Ah, oh, smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Okay, well, not smart at all, apparently. Ouch, actually covering for it. Anyway, yeah, he was ready. <laughs> the game is all even. Ouch, Bro, was Ouch just is waiting so good at slowly. these side B uh, edge guards. Like, that's the thing he hit on Shuton to win a, the set against him. Right. He, like, utilizes it so well, because Wolf, of course, not a character known for his edge guarding, but oh my gosh, I'm not going to stop talking oh about Oh my oh, god, he just that. went for it. The oh. second one, obviously, going to be enough to kill more than enough. And Atelier taking a game back. I love the fact that I think outside of. The last game that we had with uh, Apollo Kage, I think uh -huh. every single set that we've had on stream, 
has not been a straight 3-0. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, pretty much. I think on the French stream, there is a couple of 3-0s. Like, I'm yeah, really surprised yeah, yeah. Gluto to Carol was 3-0. Because yeah. I thought that would be close. But Gluto, man, he's looking like a top 5 character, uh, player in the world lately. Top 5 character. <laughs> top 5 character. Wario? Maybe Wario is a top 5 <laughs> character as well. Big I Karen. remember like the early meta, like... I used to like think about my top fives in like early COVID, uh -huh. and like I'd be like, yeah. So I think it's Joker. I uh, think it's Pac-Man. I think yeah, yeah. Shulk's top three. Shulk's top three for sure. <laughs> Damn straight, uh, bro. Pikachu. I used to think Pikachu was number one, but I think half <laughs> the world of people used to think used to Pikachu think was the best character in the game. Yeah, yeah. man. This is just God. such a throwback matchup, bro. It's crazy because I didn't think I'd be able to uh, commentate something like this because like I got into Smash in like 2022 <laughs> or 2021. Yeah. So it's like, damn, what a what a comeback. But, oh my god, Atelier you, going absolutely ham right now on the Squirtle. Eighty-one percent already. Oh, nice. This is gonna be oh. a landing for you. Oh wow. I guess that's up. that's the best damage you can get out of that. Yeah, just up smash into the up air as well. Gonna be able to combo off up smash actually. That's a bit crazy. But of course, Alex is gonna be able to milk every percent he can off of any combo starter. And oh, nice. Put into up air. Oh, yeah, reading the switch. He's still alive. Yeah. Thank God he switched to Ivysaur because if he was Squirtle, that definitely would have been death here. Really good recovery from Atelier, uh, delaying like everything, avoiding every single one of Alch's hitboxes with the up B, and Ooh. yeah, again, oh. delays it, but timing the neutral getup, uh, timing it along with the neutral getup perfectly, Alch manages to find the first stock. Looking really good, Atelier, with a bit of a tech chase on reaction. Yeah, he's got no jump, but nice early side B, definitely gonna save him there. Let the roll in, what the hell? Oh, the jab from Ouch. Oh, tries to call out the switch again, but fortunately was a little bit too quick here. Oh, he's going to get a regrab, but never mind that aggressive mix up. Yeah. It'll work out for Atelier. Didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, me yeah. neither. Oh, he tries to go for these down tilts. Oh, a little bit too high on the ground. That F tilt, Charizard not going to two frame. Which, Atelier's Charizard has barely been out this entire set. Oh, that was smash. So close, but good air drift on Ouch. Going to be able to avoid that one there. Atelier. I, I guess he's switching just because he really wants this kill right now, and a lot of. Uh, Moves will connect oh. for him. The up smash out of shield will be more than enough. Yeah, that up smash out of shield, of course, frame six and such a good option whenever you want to kill. But oh, nice down air. There's going to be a huge combo starter into the back air. 40% already on him. Gonna find another one, but nice up smash. Not going to kill Squirtle just yet. They're at 127%. Trying to find that up tilt through frame. Nice aggressive option from Atelier here. Oh, going to be able to shield that up tilt as well. And he keeps <laughs> doing this wave uh, landing, actually. <laughs> you got melee mode. Yeah, it's Brodo Banham over here, actually. Oh, wow. Guess that roll correctly with a dash stack. I'm not gonna kill just yet though. No sweet spot on it. Oh, tries to find that jump. Playing patient in the corner. Oh wait, this is gonna be <laughs> nah, a bad one. This would be it though. Surely not. Yeah, nah, definitely not. Obviously we're at 172 percent of course. Most of Wolf's attacks are gonna be able to kill. And oh yeah! Taylor keeps trying to mix up these like aggressive options off of ledge, but I was a little bit too ready for that one there. Oh nice. Forward air. Not gonna get the full combo though, very unfortunate. Up throw. Up air, gonna get spot dodge. Yeah, I was doing really good in terms of just like maintaining this advantage state at the moment. Oh my! Oh! I thought he was gonna I go for some was. like, some, like down side back air. <laughs> yeah. Or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But fortunately, he's like, gonna what, play safe. You know? oh, oh my okay, god, oh, that just straight up killed. That killed him? <laughs> Damn. He's back. Yeah, it's only finding the sweet spot with that up B, and all of a sudden he is straight back in the game. 86% taken. Uh, Squirtle will die to a couple moves right now, but ah! Oh my god, <laughs> tried to read that air dodge. He did read it, but unfortunately, until they were playing it too safe, air dodging towards the ledge here. That's gonna save his life here. And oh! ah, the jump cool out, and that will be it. Ouch, taking game three, and he is one away from beating Atelier. Yeah, this is just such a close set, but Ouch, he's been landing these back airs, and if, they're uh, so lethal, man. If Ouch beats Atelier here, mm -hmm. he'll be qualifying through winners. Wow, okay. Yeah. And if Atelier wins here, I think he qualifies through... No, 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 no. He'll be dropped into losers, actually. Even if he wins? Pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, it depends on no, Zamba it depends Nautra, on the... Yeah. Yeah, Zamba Nautra that just started. That's true. But <sighs> Atelier thinking right now to himself, like, do I switch back to Wolf or should I just stick to the PT? I mean, the PT's been doing good, but Ouch is just playing phenomenal, man. Like, he was beating Ouch. He was beating Ouch in the Wolf did it. Oh, but I okay. guess PT is uh, yeah, PT is the way to go for him. Yeah, I don't know what Atelier's like uh, matchup charts look like, but maybe PT is in uh, winning. And we're back on Smashville, man. I love this stage, but like nobody goes to this stage at all too much in Japan. But of course, aggressive players love just getting in close. But yeah. oh. <laughs> how many aggressive players in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> Atelier. <laughs> that's and, uh, it. Yeah, that's, that's about yeah. it. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Atelier just punishing Alge for these uh, options. 
Getting a good string, 62. Nice roll, gonna get caught out with that back there though. Oh wow, tries to find the full jab. Fortunately for Alex, gonna be able to jump out of it. Ooh, that jump's gone. This is looking scary. Up B, not the sweet spot though. And oh wow, he goes super deep, but fortunately, Alex gonna be able to recover high there. I feel like it becomes very obvious when you're having to play against Pokemon Trainer when they start thinking about killing because they switch from Squirtle to uh, Ivysaur. Yeah. But Atelier really takes his time with it. He like, does. He doesn't look for any like crazy gimps too often. He's pretty uh, early on the Ivysaur. Yeah, he here. takes you to about like. Oh! 80 ish. Okay, yeah. Oh my that God. was a nice parry. All right, yeah. Just run up, up smash. Very nice of him. And, oh, nice. Gonna get this forward air. Oh, the air dodge. Gonna get a grab off. Tellier. In his back air. This is really working in his favor right now. Yeah, he's got a pretty healthy stock lead unless he dies really early as Squirtle, which definitely can be done. Trying to find this Nair. Gonna find it into the dash stack. Already 101% here. Drifting out of the blasters really, really Ooh. precisely. Damn, he read that roll. I mean, he read that air dodge. Yeah, but I think he could have just popped it out more quickly, to be honest. Yeah, one of the full charge. Maybe doubting if that would have killed, but it is Squirtle. Ooh, no nice Nair. Oh, reads really the switch. Nice, yeah. Love the way that Alex reads the switch all the time. Yeah, oh, okay, he tried the air dodge there, probably expecting him to yeah, down air. Yeah, down air. Yeah. Which, now he is most definitely looking for <laughs> Down air on plat mode, right? Yeah. It's broken. <laughs> like, what do you do? <laughs> you just have to hard call it out, but, you know, until here. Of course, playing as safe as possible at 151%, though. Now on the ledge, this could be it for a stock. I was guessing correctly. Never yeah, mind. doesn't need to pressure anything too Ooh. hard. I thought that could be a combo, but this is such a rough spot to be in. But nice. Good delay, but Atelier can respond. And oh my god, that is the perfect edge guard. Atelier now going two stocks up, playing fantastically. Still sticking to the Ivy Sword, looking for that first hit. Gets an up throw into an up air into oh an my up air. God. 46%. Oh, jumps over the razor, razor leap, but never mind, gets hit by again. Falls out of that back air. Very nicely done, but Tellier has such a huge lead. Gonna be able to shield that F-Till as well. Shielding that, but oh, nice jump call out by Alsh here. Seal the deal on that stock. Oh, Nair. Not gonna combo into anything, unfortunately, at such a weird angle here. Up throw, up air. Alsh had 85% on the ledge, getting it. He's hit looking by so that one. Oh my god. Right now. Wow. Yeah, this is such a rough situation to be in as a wolf. Oh my god, F tilt. I tell you, just reacting again. to every single one of Alch's landings at the moment. Ouch. Really can't get a breath at the moment. Rolls in, but yet again, Atelier yeah, reacting. Yeah, he just straight reacting to, reacting to every option, man. Holy. This character's too fast. His reaction time's too oh good. God. Nair, though, from Ouch. Signs of life from him. Oh, nice forward air. Gonna be able to miss the second uh, yeah. one, though. No. A little too high. I thought Ouch could have uh, cooked something from that, but unfortunate. And he's lost his jump, but oh, just wow. managed just to grab the ledge. Still has a chance. Yeah, I'm really surprised life, the water gun actually didn't uh, gimp that side beat, but yeah. I was recovering perfectly there. And, oh my god! <laughs> Wait, I that like kills? Oh. Yeah. Squ <laughs> Squirtle kill, like Squirtle back throw, for some reason, has like the weirdest amount of kill power. I don't know where he that gets was, like, it from. That was like center stage. The, I mean, he was like He has like the but... stubbiest arms. <laughs> yeah, because like Dr. Back Mario is such a fake kill throw, bro. That, yeah. that thing do not be killing. Squirtle back throw is stronger than Wolf back, back throw. Maybe? I think it, it I literally might be. I mean, it might be. He grabs you, he holds you up. He's like, whoop! <laughs> He's got a strong stubby arms there, bro. Yeah. Definitely lives. I, uh, I uh, was close to impossibly shouting yeet in 2023. <laughs> right. 2024. 2024, yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, yeet smash is still around, bro. Yeet smash. <laughs> still around. <laughs> when I think about yeet smash, it's an incredible name <laughs> to have for a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeet smash. Damn, how old is, how old is that channel, actually? Now I think about it. Damn, uh, how old is saying old. yeet? Oh, my God. Are we old now? Jesus Christ. Because I remember saying that when I was like 13. Yeah. Damn. <coughs> All right. So game five, though. What's the teller looking oh, at? Oh, yeah, game five, by the way. Matchup notes, maybe? He was looking at Wolf uh, <laughs> Ditto notes, is what I'm trying to. Uh... Are there notes for Dittos? I bet there is. I well, mean, you need to look at the percents for what kills when. I guess so. Oh, okay, we're yeah, still I guess that's, that's true. All right. All right yeah. Sticking with it. I respect that, bro. I respect that. And game five, man. It couldn't have been any other way. Atelier already had a game five with Zamba. Luckily, Zamba was able to clutch that one out for himself, but Atelier been playing hot today. Yeah, it feels like Ouch, uh, though, on these bigger stages, just feels a lot more comfortable. And uh, obviously, every time they played on PS2, I think Ouch just won. So, I uh, don't know. Yeah, I think on Smashville especially, because like you can't run away as much with the laser, and just like, you know, you can't really space your back ears. Uh, on that stage, Ooh. but Taylor laying on the pressure, but nice little bit of a combo here by Alex. Unfortunately, not going to get that combo extension. Good parry though. That's just reading all of Atelier's mashes at the correct timing. And Ooh. oh my god, that S mash would have been a stage uh, statement. 
Okay, nice. Or chill into the grab. A couple up airs. Gonna get that water gun off and oh, <laughs> good trade for Alch right there. <laughs> oh, air dodging straight through that air. Oh, gonna be able nice, to parry this one. Parry. Man, Alch is so good at these techs though. He's not getting hit by a single point. He's just ready. I think it's more of a matter of like every time he thinks he might miss or like might have an aerial get parried, he's already getting ready to tech because he knows Atelier is gonna down. Uh, tilt or F tilt or whatever it is. It's F tilt, isn't it? The one that sends. Yeah. Um, but, ouch, finding a grab. Tech chase situation. Ooh. It's Elliot panicking a little bit, but only a south spot dash tag. Out, uh, ouch is, he's on the, he's on the hunt, but Atelier is just about managing to keep himself alive. We're on Charizard. Yeah, this is so scary, man. Just last hit situations against Charizard, of course, is super stressful, but ouch. Oh no, gonna fall straight off of that F tilt. And we'll try to find that back there, but Teller a little bit too ready for that option. A wolf connoisseur himself. And oh, that dash okay. attack! The yeah. late hit is going to be able to send him to the side blast zone there. I think it was always a burst option in the end that was going to do it for Ouch uh, for that stock, especially against Charizard. Such good range on everything. Yeah, unfortunately, that down smash not going to be able to work out. Good option select from Ouch here. And oh, up tilt! Oh, what? <laughs> up tilt up B? <laughs> not All right, well, that. Whoa, jump reads! Oh, not going to. Wait, did he SD? No, never mind. Okay. What is going on, man? This set is so hype. <laughs> It's only going to show me absolutely new things. Like, <laughs> I've never seen that combo. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen that combo in my life. It's not even that impressive. It's an up to it's an up beat. <laughs> but hey, bro, re reinvented the game. Yeah, reinvented the better. Yeah. Why don't more squaddles do that? <laughs> yeah, Alch here with a super healthy lead right now. He's yeah. playing this game five phenomenal. Yeah, in a lot of trouble right now. Yeah, sticking to the corner. Just patient there. Nice water gun. Going to be able yeah, to get off that ledge out situation. A lucky break with the dash tag. Oh, just huge. Whiffing. Yeah, nice back air. Oh, oh he's already thinking about you. <laughs> oh my god, he wants a oh, gun. Oh, wait, oh, that oh, be? oh my god. No. Good DI by Alch. Alch knew that it was coming, so he DI'd away. That was, that was, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh that's oh. it. That's literally oh it. Oh my god. Four he air sniped into the, the lead out of nowhere. Damn, yeah, he was like down like maybe like 90% there, but Atelier just with that one advantage state was going absolutely <laughs> crazy. This is such a high si uh, stress situation right Atelier now. Atelier needs both to players. keep his stock for as long as possible, picking mobility over maybe uh, how long he can live for with his Squirtle. At the moment, obviously, uh, as we said, Pokemon Stadium is a big stage. Oh, that up air is going to miss. Is it going to be a back throw? He's at 157. Oh. oh my god, that was a brave oh, forward air. Correctly. And it might have worked in Atelier's favor here. Quick 54. Maintain that advantage state. Ouch is off stage. Oh, the Abdul immediately switches into the Ivysaur. <laughs> what this downer so bad. Right, that's it, surely. No, no, he's still alive. 170% onto Atelier here. He's been living so long all of these games, man. Oh, uh, no, the re-grab. Uh, oh, oh, what wait, the? No. Uh, wait, we good? Uh, uh, <laughs> <never mind. laughs> okay. He delayed that as long as possible. Yeah, Alch is just waiting. And uh, now we are at last oh, there. game five. It could go either this is way. Alch just caught oh up immediately. He's taking his jump. Oh, oh and now uh, Up B, not going to hit, actually. Gets back onto the stage. Switching to Ivysaur. Not going to find the downer, though. Nice, then they're going to be able to get straight through it, and this is looking extremely even. Oh, nice, the parry. pivot! Oh, oh, P. oh my god! That's not going to kill! He's not dead just yet. Why oh, that's it! Down yeah, there. that's Atelier. it! That's more than enough for the downer to be able to kill, and Atelier just about clutches it. Oh my god. Just barely <laughs> finding it. That reversal was absolutely insane, man. I just felt like he had it, but Atelier, bro, he don't never count him out. Never, never, count him never out, do, bro. never do. That came out from nowhere. Yeah. Like, you know how scary that up can be. The, the Ivysaur up with the sweet spot kills you. Uh, God knows how, low, how early that percent killed. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Atelier's playing so hot today, man. That was an incredible game. Yeah. Props to both players, man. Yep. And what, what do we have up next? It's Kanaji. Kanaji? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can hop on. <laughs> uh, I, I've been commentating for a while, so you can hop yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> huh? We have a yeah. bunch of time. Yeah, we'll do a QM. We bracket. can do a QM. SSQM. Go around and ask people that want to play. Okay. Just do single Elim, by the way. It's single Elim. Okay. Um, quick update. Yeah. Uh, because we have loads of time after the pools end, we're going to do a quick single elimination SSQM bracket. SSQM is a special side game mode that's very popular in Japan. It's spirits on. It's a certain setting with spirits that gives you a lot of. Um, it gives you no end lag, practically zero end lag on uh, landing lag. Sorry, that's the move, the, the word I'm thinking of. And you move a lot faster. And yeah. You're a lot heavier in yeah. terms of like just like uh, falling. It's full supposed speed. to kind of like mimic melee. It's like, of course, it's not really, but 
ってなわけで一応日本語でも説明しておきますけど、あのー、結構予選の後時間が数時間があるっていうわけであのサイドイベントを SSQ men SSQM にしますでそれで海外勢もみんなやるということで結構なんか、well, go crazy, right? ね、<笑> We should invite a double A bro あいやえっはい。All right, okay, go ahead.、Uh, I'm going to pass it off to my co commentator, my Australian commentator, who definitely isn't going to be biased in this specific set here. For sure, for sure. Sean from school is a goddamn liar. I'm going to be biased as hell.、Uh, Kinaji has just performed a 3 0 on Cosmos.、What? If you're watching what? the question, 3 fucking 0. -0. It、oh、wasn't、God. even close. Kinaji was playing absolutely out of his mind. See, this is what I've been saying, bro. Kinaji <laughs> with is. Shulk, with Shulk as well. Dude, Kinaji is so sick. It just like. Bro, locals, he's got wins on like Proto Banham, Takara,、mm, mm. everyone else. People don't hear about him, but like, it's because he does kind of poorly at majors. Yeah, well, do you, do you, remember, like, do you remember back during、uh, what was it, Kagari Bio Delta, where Mudace was absolutely having the shittest time? Do you know who Mudace lost to in the loser's、goat. side? The goat. My goat Kanaji. And here he is to、yeah. try Mediaso and Jogibu. This set. Is kind of really important for who makes it on winner's side. Is it really? Yep. So really AK, AK has won against Jogi Boo.、Uh -huh. Jogi Boo is your number one seed. You can almost guarantee that he's going to win like, at least one of these sets. If Kanaji is able to take out Jogi Boo, he's going to、oh, be up 2 0. It's only the、that's、AK match、huge. left. And AK hates the snake matchup, or the snake ditto. And so does Kanaji.、Oh, but, that's true, yeah. But I believe, I believe in my boy. I believe in my boy. So. Who can tolerate it more? <laughs> I want to have button check, or are you going straight into it? Maybe just go man, when Kanaji plays hot, he plays hot. And oh wow, trying to replicate the Apollo Kage here.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apollo Kage for context 3 0 Jogibu. The people not watching, and Kanaji going with his classic secondary snake here. Gonna have to hope that Jogibu's kind of figured something out about the snake matchup. But I like to feel that Kanaji and, and AK have very different snakes. Like, Snake is a character with so many tools that allows you to really like, mix up your options、oh! and pick different things to do. But you don't need to pick different options with Jogibu setting up that knee. Yeah, I mean, it's so easy to try and like, up be there in that situation because a lot of characters can, of course, like, you know, just not go through that super armor. But Captain Falcon, of course, got one of the hardest hating aerials in the game. And Jogibu gonna be able to get that zero to death off insanely quick.、Mm. I think even if he hadn't committed to To that knee. He still could have probably done the up B and grabbed Kanaji out of the armor of, the, of, the, of that Cypher. So there's a lot of counterplay that, ca that Captain Falcon does have against Snake Cypher, so you've got to be careful when you use it. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, Captain Falcon, of course, has such a, like,、uh, edge guardable recovery, especially for、mm. Nikita. If you have a, like, don't have a jump, you're pretty much done. And Kanaji, especially good with that Nikita. And now he's off stage here, but doesn't go. Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. unconventional edge guard、oh, here from Kanaji. Oh, no. Wait, no, he's got a C4, right? Yeah, he's fine. He's yeah, fine. Yeah. No, he doesn't. He's、oh. dead. Okay, okay, well, unconventional edge guard from Kanaji. You know, still coming off of that 3 0 from, from Cosmos. He's kind of cooking up on the snake. It was the Shulk that he was playing for that entire last set. So the、That's、snake、true. is a little rusty. I'm, I'm wor worried to the point that he didn't do the button check. I was really expecting him、yeah. to do a button check straight up. Because、like, Snake's definitely a character you need to have like, a very warmed up hands for. You know, you have to be reverse grenade like, a bunch of times. You have to do a bunch Of, like, not super complex inputs,、yeah. but definitely not a character you can play with. Cold hands! Oh! oh! <laughs> Just go straight for it. I'm really surprised that didn't work. Jogibu being able to drift maximum to the side there and not gonna get hit by that. Nice downer there from Kanaji, gonna be able to get back onto the stage, but Jogibu is looking so nice right now. You know what? It's a Kanaji classic to find these stocks in the most unexpected of situations. He's down two to one right now. But if he's able to line up one of these forward airs, like he's shown that he can, Jogibu narrowly avoiding the first one. He's able to take stocks nice and quick and easy, but Jogi be trying to take his own.、Ooh. Gets three different up airs in a row. Tries to up another nair there. Gets、oh, the knee. Oh, d o u b l e The double dunk. He's、no、still at、knee. 127, but nice trade, luckily for him. And oh my god, just Falcon King straight onto the other platform. Bro's relentless,、mm -hmm. not letting up this pressure, but oh, the delayed back、mm -hmm. air. Gonna seal the deal in that game number one. There was massive amounts of pressure for Jogi Boo after Kanaji. Like, Kanaji gave him that solid lead. Yeah. And then once Jogibu had a grasp of it, he just ran with it. Kept up the aggression, kept up the pressure. Didn't have to worry as much about the trades that Snake you know, offers. So he was just able to you know, get his hits in and get them well. So good on, good on Jogibu taking that first game. But you know what? 
It's Kanaji's first game on Snake in a, in a hot minute. True. He's sure. warming up, and we can already see him warm up. You, did you see that forward he went for? <laughs> Imagine if it hit. I've been hit by that on Wi-Fi. Really I, I, I hate him for it, but I love him for <laughs> That's it. That's such time. a classic snake cheese, bro. Back so forward there. I think, doing that I think there's a vault out there of me getting hit by that. Oh damn! Absolutely. You on East Smash somewhere? Absolutely. <laughs> For, there was a there was a crew battle back in the day and Kanaji was in it for some reason. They put me against it. I was like, oh yeah, the Mega Man the Mega Man Snake matchup. It's good, right? No. Oh, you got him specifically no. by Kanaji in that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. was, I thought you were was, talking about a random Snake player. No, it was mad. It was getting mad, to this so game like, number two on Pokemon Stadium here. Of course, Jogibu, a master of this matchup, did just lose to Apollokage, but of course he's got such a different Snake and one of the best Snake players in the world. But Kanaji, let's see if he can do it. He's on a hot run already because he was uh, uh, practically I think he was 13th seed. So, One of the bottom four, yeah. Yeah, able to upset oh, Cosmos is huge, especially for re name recognition, man. Because mm -hmm. not a lot of people hear about Kanaji because, you know, he's won an Australian major and he does have really good wins at locals, but no breakout performance just yet. And it really just is to do with the region that he's playing in. He's been playing in Australia, has come to Japan a couple of times. It just seems like, like a lot of other Aussie players, when they do come to Japan, they do struggle just that little bit. Has wins on massive amounts of people during the Golden Week, though. I bring up the Mutace one all the time, but it's 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 an amazing win for him to have. I feel like there's, there's always the Australian player that just seems to have the weirdest win. Kanaji over Mutace, Strix over, Strix over <laughs> yeah, uh, Mio and everything. Let's What's see if we can see that? Kanaji over Jogibu today as well. Yeah, off to a great start here, especially Jogi B already at 155%, so all he needs is an up tilt, or maybe even a back here. Strong hit to be able to get this stock, but ooh, nice Nair. Gonna be able to chase him here. Tries to up B, straight back onto the stage. Jogi trying to chase him, but nice C4 coverage, and Jogi B gonna be able to die there really late, though. Yeah, Kanaji able to use his movement quite perfectly to set up that perfect C4. Jogi chasing a little too much. He had, he was able to put on the aggression in that last game because he had a lead. But now you really have to worry about the trades. The snake Ooh. is gonna get no need to worry about trades there though. Nair one into knee. Jogi be on a hot streak. Yeah, already two stocks to two stocks. That knee was definitely needed. But Kanaji have a nice pace and oh tries to read the air dodge, but unfortunately lands on the platform. Kanaji not gonna be able to get that. Oh damn! All right, that two frame coming. He's in two socks to one, ladies and gentlemen. Kanaji hits those, and now Jokibu going for his own big hits as well. But you don't hit no falcon punch on my goat, Kanaji. <laughs> You're going to have to try a little harder than that, Jokibu. Just try confirming into knee again. A lot of damage off of getting in that nair. He's so good at the grenade into confirmed aerials. Yeah, for real. He's just bouncing straight right back, and Jokibu already at 93%. This advantage that is going crazy. Already a grenade into the up air. Not killing just yet, but another one might. Just been reminded by the chat that Kanaji's birthday is actually tomorrow, so if he's able to oh. win this one here, go on winner's <laughs> side for a bracket on his birthday. Yeah, happy early birthday, man. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, is this a down throw? Oh, okay. Wow. What a coverage. Yeah. Down throw into run back into dash attack. Actually, there was yeah, nothing what, that Jokibu yeah, could have done. I don't think he could have. Exactly. If he rolled in, boom, up tilt. If he's like get up attacking, neutral get up, roll to the left. He was done, bro. Well, I and feel like Kanaji was committing to the dash attack. Let's 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 not be frank here. Yeah. But even if he did roll in, the dash attack was gonna hit it. True. You know? True. Get up attack, it hits. Roll in, it hits. Yeah. Neutral get up, it hits. Roll out, it hits. Snake's such a broken character, man. He's so broken. He's yeah. so broken. <laughs> <laughs> broke for using him. Snake Shulk player. Like, how, how cracked That's is this so game unique, do you have man. to be to play Snake and Shulk? Because Snake players usually don't have secondaries. No, no, and they're no, no. usually, not, like, no offense to Snake players, but they're usually never that great because Snake's such a unique character, right? Like, you gotta put, invest, like, Go all your focus, time into it. Focus, focus, But Kanaji, he's very 50 50. Maybe, like, more so Shulk lately, but. Mm. The snake, it's classic, man. It's what uh, put him on the map. Classic character here for you today. Against, you know, one of the Smash classics of Captain Falcon. Jogaboo definitely not out of the races just yet. Just needs to find himself a lead in these matches. If he's able to get an early like he was in that last in that last match where he saw it zero to death straight off of the bat, yeah. then he doesn't have to worry about the trades that too much. Then Kanaji has to aggress. If you're aggressing a snake against Falcon, that's where you have issues. But I feel like as soon as Kanaji gets a lead, it's impossible. Oh! But Jogibu, once again, I mean, it, it wasn't quite a zero to death, but 7.5, that's good enough. Oh my god, just mirrors of game one already here, man. Back on battlefield, and maybe this is a bad stage because Jogibu is walking all over him. But Kanaji, of course, not shy of making comebacks. Nice double dash second. Tries to go for the end smash again, but nice job on Jogibu. Going to be able to bring it back. It's good that Kanaji's not afraid to go for these like really hard reads or these big kill options when he's at this kind of deficit. Because that's kind of what you need to do. If you're at such a deficit against your opponent, where you really need to bring it back, you can kind of throw out these risky options every so often. And you know what? He throws out the risky options in points where he's not going to get punished as hard. Did the F smash while Jogibu was like going in from oh, wow. like going for recovery, so the two frame hit. Going yeah. for this dash attack as well, catching the, the landing. Attack. Yeah, Nikita's going to be so hard to avoid. Oh, and yeah, tried right. to get a little bit fancy with that up but unfortunately missed it putting in. I mean, he might have just died straight up from the uh, 
from that Nikita anyway, so kind of had to go for something. But oh, <laughs> Jacob be trying to find this deep edge guard, but Kanaji gonna be able to make it back. Nice down tilt. Oh, tried to find him on the platform, but fortunately gonna be able to get out pretty soon. Massive amounts of damage just from that one C4. Ori is choking up at 55. Grenade pressure is on. All the pressure is on Chobu. Gets the Nair one, but just hits another Nair instead. Oh, did you gonna see be able that? To Bro, like, exploded himself, but he also put the Nikita before he exploded, so it just, like, covered the option. I've never seen that before, and he, he does it again. <laughs> oh my god, I have never seen this tech before. <laughs> I mean, he died. pulls it out for cafeteria cup. What is this? Yeah, okay, like. It's a step above from your normal, everyday Joe Schmo uh, <laughs> C4 recovery, man. Or grenade recovery. So, of course, he's, he's pulling out things in the book if he wants to get this win. And, oh, the F-Smash, nice strip from Jokibu, though. Mm. It's what Falcon's up B allows him to do. I feel like part of why he did that reverse up B on his last stock where he had SD'd is because he wanted to believe in the Falcon drift, that he was able to up B in the opposite direction and then continue to drift on. But not shuts the case. Is the case here, though. It would be able to uh, dodge that F-Smash. But now Kanaji has to find the stock in a different way, setting up his grenades at the moment, just placing them all around the stage to make it really hard for Jokubu to run in. Oh yeah, nice C4 right there, and it's such a hard like position to try and a potion. And oh, that up tilt, gonna catch mm. Jokubu, and that's gonna be his stock. And I mean, Jokubu had such a huge lead at the start right now, but right now it's only 57%. But ooh, near one, up air, up air. Does he find the air dodge read? Never mind, he usually loves to go for that, but Jokubu not gonna be able to find it this time. Kanaji is too calm, too collected. I don't, I'll get that hit. <laughs> He's not going to give these random knees to Jogibu for free. If you're going to take my stock from me, you're going to have to do it in a nice and clean fashion. And we can see Jogibu going for the clean hits. He wants that down air. He wants that Nair one. Oh, no jump. And tried to read the air dodge, oh. but not going to find it. That down air into knee. He's going to get it, man. It's the first time that Kanaji committed to that F smash in a position where he really shouldn't have, to be honest. Every F smash he's pulled out has been on, you know, Jogibu's recovery. You have the potential to hit it, and you're probably not going to get punished. That time he just kind of threw it out at random uh, in the middle, of, in the middle of neutral, in the middle of his disadvantage, and Jogibu yeah. able to capitalize very heavily off of it. Yeah, that's going to be huge for Jogibu. Going to be able to have a game up to experiment a little bit, but Kanaji also does have a shulk if he does feel like uh, he's a little lost, but going to be able to sneak with the snake over here. Might as well be sticking with it. Yeah. It's what's made the work happen. You, if you were watching the AK game, he did it in a 3 0 fashion. So yeah. Kanaji, let's see if he's about to do the same. If the reversal comes, hopefully he bends Battlefield in the, the next time we go to game five. But you have to get to that game five first. You gotta take stock. And nice start here from Kanaji. Gonna be able to have a little bit of those grenades. But oh, that Tomahawk gonna fail for Jogibur here. Kanaji gonna set up a ledge absent air. But oh, nice holding the shield here from. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I thought that was gonna hit, but. Gonna be able to barely air dodge in time. Nice back air reversal. Tries to go for that two frame. Not gonna find it though. Nice up air into the grab. Good spot dodge from Kanaji. It's wild to see that Kanaji isn't the only player in this match who's just going for these instant kill options. Jogibu, a professional on the Falcon, is able to find these downers where he wants. But Kanaji, it's up to him playing in the disadvantage to not let these hits come through. Able to get that forward tilt right now. Setting up grenades at the roll distance. Jogibu, what can we get off this down air? Keeps the pressure on. Yeah, this is so scary, man. Jogibu, of course. Oh, tries to find the air dodge read, but gets hit by the C4 instead. And now Kanaji has the lead in this game four. There's been a lot of uh, of a lot of C4s, or at least two specifically that I could think of, where Kanaji has just been drifting back down from the air. Jogibu has been trying to catch him on his landing, but instead just gets hit with a C4 for his for his troubles. It's a it's a good option to go for, especially if Jogibu keeps falling for it. Yeah, it's definitely such a weird here, uh, weird stage wow. here. On oh, well, okay, well. Uh, he actually died to up air. I'm very surprised yeah. considering that Snakes is such a heavy character, but he was very high up and maybe poor DI, but... I it mean, was it was high percent and it was it was high in the blast. So, yeah, so you yeah. know, eventually that up air is going to have to take, so... Fair enough. And, ooh, nice. Going to be able to catch that air dodge with, uh, with the up B. Trying to find a huge bonus right there, but not going to be able to find it. Nice grab. Oh, this is such a scary situation, but that down air just hitting the Cypher. Not going to hit Kanaji. It was oh. interesting because what set up that edge guard was Kanaji going for a back air. Such a long-lasting move, and yet Chogibu was, I don't know whether he spaced it or whether he just didn't get hit by it, but he was able to get so much percent off of that one Ooh. fluke. Oh my god, that was such a good angle from Chogibu, just drifting all the way to the left and grabbing the ledge just in time. That definitely would have killed uh, Chogibu, man. If we think about Kanaji coming from the state of Australia, you have to know that there's probably a bunch of Falcons that he's played against in the past. Australia definitely more hype region than most. <laughs> you know how yeah, it is. You that. know how it is. You know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> K rule number one, baby. <laughs> That's, That's how true. we know. Goes back. But a Kanaji looking to make himself the number one Ooh. in Oz right now. There's no Jay Dizzle on the screen for him to contest against. No Shrix to take the starlight from him. It's only Kanaji left. 
to represent his entire country here at this tournament. Yeah. We'll have to see if he can bring it to a game five. That back here just barely hitting and nice. Going to be able to catch that neutral get up with the down tilt, but good mix up from Jogabi here. Going to be able to jump over that C4 and he's so far off stage. Again, doing the deck, getting the Nikita out, but not going to offer it here. And oh wow, not going to be able to punch that one. F still just barely beating out Kinaji's one. Wow. What? What an aggressive get back to the stage. Jokubu definitely not expecting any kind of hit from Kanaji there. Just exactly oh, to go the to jump the as well. Oh my god, this is such a bad oh, scenario. No. Tries to go for it again. Jokubu barely drifting away from it and luckily saving himself with the ice back here. I am astonished that, that that forwarder didn't hit. Kanaji felt like he well. lined that one up perfectly. But Jokubu playing so well in his disadvantage state right now. Not going to get hit by anything from Kanaji. Going for oh, his own spike. Wait, does he go for it again? Spike. Never mind. Not going to find it. Uppy though. Good tech from mm. Kanaji. Going to find this up air. Oh, nice grenade though. Going to interrupt that combo. May we tech those every single day of the week. Kanaji getting a classic grenade combo out of the shield. Just went instead of this back air, stopping Jokubu from getting from the ledge. He tries to roll in, but Smash. explosions are everywhere right now. Can you get off of this ledge? Let's see if Kanaji keeps the trap on lock. Yeah, this is so scary. Going to be able to pull out the Nikita. Oh, tries to read the air dodge. Tries to read the roll, but unfortunately, Jokubu not going to be able to pull that one off. Kanaji is so close to getting his kill here with an up tilt, but Jokubu is playing so patiently right now. But that C4 in that center stage position is so scary. It's whoever play, whichever player, should I say, is going to do the best in this high pressure situation. It's the last Ooh. hit, ladies oh and gentlemen. God. And he gets the dash attack oh. to take it to game five. It was last hit. And Kanaji wins both three. <laughs> what a sigh of relief from the boy. Another game five on the stream. That's too many. This 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 pool is tight. There's too many hype sets, man. Too it's many so hype good. sets. They it's need so to stop good. doing this. Mm -hmm. Where's the three O's, bro? Where's That's the what I'm saying. At? I mean, it was on the French stream when Kanaji threw yeah. it. Cosmos. <laughs> True. Yeah. True. True. He already has 3 now it's Now it's just time to work for a win. Kanaji has to work for a win. Did he, he didn't bend Battlefield. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that is definitely a scary stage. Jogi Boos won both of his stage picks on Battlefield, but of course, it is going to be his pick. And what are we doing here for the uh, song? song <laughs> thing? Some monkey music? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da oh, I guess so. Wow. I'm really surprised somebody picked this. Yeah, we're trying out something. I, I, I don't know. You know, it's his song counter pick, so he gets to pick whatever, even if it's bad. Yeah. Let's see if Kanaji can pull this through here. This would be a huge upset because Jogi Boo is seed fourth of this tournament. Of course, this is pools. Mm. He is top of the pool and Kanaji's bottom. Let's not forget this. Yeah. This would be a, probably the biggest upset of Cafeteria Cup if this happens. Mm. I'm pretty sure, but Jogi Boo, not about to let that happen anytime soon. You can help. Very excited to see all the red on the left of these boxes and all the green on the right. Kanaji wanting to make an upset here, and he has the potential. He AK does. was able to do it with his snake in 3 0. Kanaji might be able to do it in a 3 2. But it's all up to Jokubu right now. What is he going to show to us? Nice. Going to be able to get this rapid jab here, and first couple of hits goes to Jokubu. Nice up air. Get 56% onto Kanaji here. Another little bit of up air trade. He keeps getting these up airs in the disadvantage. Kanaji having to kind of figure out how to get off of this ledge. Wanted to read a roll on the platform there, but Jokubu just doing the drill get up. Picking the safe option. And he's the better player for it. Yeah, correct guess is there, but oh, nice down air. And Kanaji had such a very uncomfortable situation and spot right there, but no. Oh, no! No! He thought he had enough distance. Wanted to set up the Nikita before he went for that Cypher, but it was the wrong choice to make. He finds himself at a self-inflicted deficit right now. But if your deficit is self-inflicted, you still have a chance to make it back. Gets that down air on the roll-in. Nikita comes out, but what a tech from Jogi Boo. Yeah, just attacking Ooh. into it immediately. Okay, well, immediately C4 in. That's such an unfortunate SD, but Kanaji bringing it right back. Two stocks to two stocks. We are answering right now. We're keeping this match as close as it gets. And when he gets down into Nair, he's so good at saving these aerials. Stacks. This is looking so scary. The F smash oh. tried to delay it, but Jokubu, again, nice angle by him. Going to be able to get back on the stage, get back to safety. But again, now Kanaji is the one with the percent lead. Mm -hmm. He's put Snake, uh, he's Snake is now in the position where he does not have to approach. Jogubu must make up this distance from Kanaji, who just keeps setting up explosions. I am genuinely surprised that Jogubu has been able oh. to recover so oh my God. often. Great what DI. DI in right there. If he DI'd out, that definitely would have been death. But oh my god, Jokubu with his advanced state is going absolutely crazy. Tries to read the roll. Not going to find it, but tries to go for the Falcon Kick. Air does it straight through the down air. Oh my god, they're just swinging right now at this ledge. We all saw the sigh from Kanaji after that game four. And what, what a close game four it was. But here he is now in game five with a lead. As long as he is able to keep his composure, we might see the biggest upset of Cafeteria Cup in pools. This would be absolutely insane. I don't think anybody imagined this looking at the pools. And, oh I my imagined god, it for years. The <laughs> I've been dreaming 
dreaming about this moment for so long. Right, Kanaji right, right, came in. We got to commentate. He's curious here. I'm so excited. Say, say something. Say something about the match. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. All right. Jokey Boo, of course, at 36%. 47 now. Still on his last stock. He can definitely make these comebacks happen, man. He's come, like he's called the comeback king for a reason, bro. But Kanaji, 143%. Look, Jogi was used to making the reverse 3-0s, but here he finds himself in a position where he was ahead in the set. And now Kanaji is the one who is taking the reversal to him. The games have been back and forth. If Kanaji's able to oh win two in a row right here, almost sets up that upper off of the grenade, but here comes Jogi Can he get this edge guard to keep this one on lock? Oh. Yes, he does. Going deep up there for that up air. Now it's one stock to one stock. I'm sure both hearts are beating at such a fast pace, but Kanaji's the one with the percent lead at the moment, finding an up tilt. Already at 87 now. It's a solid 87. He keeps getting these grenades to connect Jogibu. Just really struggling to get assistance. Finds it with the back air. But a grenade was ready for him. Oh up tilt. Not just yet. Kanachi, not enough rage to work with. But one more He's will surely the steal one, the deal. He's got the C4 on him. Oh my god, oh, so no. scary. Oh, just to find the up tilt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jeez. Already at 140%. But Jogibu, of course, if he gets a grab. Up air. Up air. Oh my god. Try to find the narrow one. Not going to find it, though. Try to find the up B. Is this it? Never mind. Lands on the top platform be able to dash attack away. So scary, but returning back to neutral here. Oh my god, almost gets into that C4. We return back to neutral, but my heart is still racing. <laughs> this match has become way too close, because Jogibu, he just showed his hand. He is looking for this knee, and he oh! kind of hit! He can fight to get it, finds one. Not enough percent of them, though. Jogibu going for another there. Kanachi coming back to the stage right now. Sets Kanachi, up grenades! Oh, he needs a down throw and up tilt. This is looking so scary. Trying to find the up smash trade. Oh! Down air! Oh! Knee! No! Jogibu closing no! it out! Oh my god, such a heartbreaker for Kanaji, but oh, that was sick. Australia was sick, in but... shambles. Damn. Australia in absolute shambles. <laughs> I even heard awe in the downstairs. Oh, it was one down air. That was so close, man. What a tight set. I was set the closest they could possibly be. Oh my god, but Jogi would just able to clutch it out, you know, yeah. and, it, and you, you can't take away that win from him. He was at such a deficit against Kanaji, forced as the Falcon player to approach against Snake, and was able to find that perfect position. Not only hitting a raw knee, but then finding another down air to confirm into the knee. He was oh on, his, on his game. That was unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go cry This is too damn later. hype, bro. It's very hype. <laughs> There's still one more match for Kanaji to make this one work, though. If he, oh yeah, he's going to play, play AK the... next. Oh, we'll have yeah. a little snake ditto. He's, He's playing that guy. guy. That's you. Guy. Yeah. Were you watching <laughs> what that? What do you think about that? Wait, actually, yeah. As a snake player? Oh, no, no. Oh. You jump in. You jump in. Yeah, yeah. So, as long as you're not playing soon. No, you shouldn't be playing soon. You'll be fine. All right, okay. Uh, I would talk to Kanaji, but he just lost a very tight set, so I don't it? want to. So, as a, as a fellow snake player, yeah, snake the whole time. Snake the whole time. Okay. I so feel like he had to have known that you got that 3 0. Well, Kanaji asked me for advice, so I gave him some tidbits to uh, go by when playing the matchup. And the only thing I saw was like stock 2, game 5, and onward. Yeah. So, I came up here and saw that, and I heard snake, so I came in the room. Uh, yeah, that was a heartbreaker. That's why I was like excited that I finished my set, because I was like, if I don't win here, that's probably going to happen to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think Snake beats Falcon because, like, if you think about it, he has no answers for Nikita. So, and, like, he has to deal with the bullet hell. He can kill us with, like, down your knee, but, like, that's it. Yeah. Um, I think Kanaji had it, but he kind of, he, he got too, like, movement heavy at the end. Like, he mm. didn't need to be doing all that. He kind of could just sit there. He was kind of, you know, like, feeling himself a little, I don't want to say yeah. feeling himself too much, but definitely feeling the pressure. Yeah, yeah. When like, you're feeling the pressure like that, you're like, oh, I have to hit every mix-up in the book to connect this yeah. stock, when it's literally just up tilt. Like, it's literally just up tilt. Yeah, I think there's, like, real pressure and fake pressure, and I think Jogovic's, like, whole game plan there was just to make Kanaji feel like he had to do something, when yeah. in reality, bro could just, like, he could, he doesn't have to just stand there. Like, if you're standing there, Captain Falcon has to wrap through booster, he has to run up gradually, he has to committal burst option. So at yeah. the end of the day, like, you don't have to be the one to commit first in that situation. You can just, like, make him play a guessing game. And if you think he's going to guess, you can put a grenade in the mix to skew, like, the interaction in your favor. So I think Kanazi almost had it, which means, like, you know, he's only one hit away. Like, one, that's one adjustment. So he's, like, right there. But that was just, like, good composure by Jogobu. One last question. What's up? Do you think Kanazi on the cover? Do you think of course. He's beat Proto. Do you think he beats you? You think he beats me? No. <laughs> but he's on the come up. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I think we already have another game going on. Is this Samba? Is he? Are they playing? Oh, they're button checking, thank God. Because I need to. Uh... They're playing! Oh, well, here they are. Oh, oh the Samba. Hell? Oh, we're. Okay. Oh, never mind. We're in. Oh, we're in. All right, Zamba versus Alex, a very high. I, did this happen already? Uh, beforehand? Like in any. It would tournament? have had to happen at some point. Both players. 
frequenters of majors on the America side of things. But here they are facing each other in Japan. Yeah, definitely Ooh. did not expect to see each other over here, but we're going to have to see what happens. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I just realized what uh, Zama's rocking with the tag. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice, nice, very nice, very yeah. nice. And now just rocking his classic tag. There he is. Yeah, what happens to players up. just having their tag be their name? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Nah, I, I like changing it up. But Zamba going to find this down throw. Not going to get that up tilt, but Alch, of course, getting a stock lead. Oh, tries to find a panic air dodge, but Alch a little bit too calm here. He wants to change up how he's finding these stocks off of these down throws. Hits that up tilt, but doesn't really go for the up air. He's wanting to find... Well, he finds it there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but sometimes when the up tilt isn't confirmed to hit, you just want to read your opponent going for a bad neutral air dodge or, or some kind of panic option, which uh, is pretty frequent to do against a robe who is going to hit you with something after you get hit with up tilt. So. Yeah, for sure. Zamba, of course, he's, um, he already played against Naucha, right? Mm -hmm. He won? I don't know, but I'm fairly sure yeah. it's fine. Sure. Yeah, of course. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I Zamba <laughs> trying to grab on Nauchi. That's not my house. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, that forward air into the side be such a precise combo and going to be able to hit it, but unfortunately, not going to die just yet, even on the top plat. Nice up air by Zama, going to be able to get back onto the stage. And ooh, tries to read that jump, but unfortunately, Ash not going uh, to give it to him. He's about 50 50 right now on calling out these side beats, which you think is a raw, but it would be pretty like simple to punish. Just either hit the gyro or hit the laser, hit it down to whatever you want to hit on that side beat. Just get it. Goes for the F tilt there instead of a down smash, but able to follow it up. I was scared he wasn't going to be able to take the stock there, even though it was almost guaranteed from the tech miss, but gets it anyway with the laser. And nice, we're gonna find this dash stack, and ooh, early side B, gonna get punished by Zamba here. Oh, the gyro actually <laughs> sending at such a weird angle, but nice. Gonna be able to get this combo DIing in. Gonna get punished accordingly. Oh, nice parry, but of course it is Rob down, so can't really punish it. Ouch, getting so much percent <gasps> racked up on him now, already at 90%, and oh, that laser, is he dead? Yes, yes he is. Sir. Damn. You do not want to be off stage against Zamba, man. And Zamba count himself as the lucky one in this pool. I mean, technically he had two wolves lined up to him. It was Atelier who played Pokemon Trainer and that instead took it to a game five, but Zamba yeah. was able to close it out. Now he is up against Ouch, who's playing Wolf. I'm fairly sure this matchup is known to be Rob favorite, especially for that edge guard. Yeah, for sure, man. Like, both characters such uh, neutral, heavy characters as Zamba. You know, from uh, New York, Staten Island, and he's talked to me about, like, playing against Jackal all the time, so he definitely knows this matchup down to the T. Yes, sir. Gonna see another game on here on PS2. Both players want to use their space to work around with Ouch. Just gonna come down with a nice little jab. And we got a momentum shifting into Ouch's favor here for the first couple seconds of this game number two. Nice, gonna be able to get this forward air. Oh, misses the third one though. Gonna be able to air dodge straight through. It's as long as Ouch is able to find these like early percent combos and get himself a lead to prevent Zoma from just sticking back with gyro and laser and playing his game in such a fashion. He's doing really well with it right now, getting his Nair to work. Using there on the shield again, but Zomba, all these quick hits, down tilts, jabs, just anything to build up percent until we can start going for shenanigans. Yeah, nice. Zomba going to be able to get back on the stage here, but he is at 126%. And oh, nice, just fake uh, jump right there. Going to be able to punish Alex, but oh, wow, he actually got zero end lag on that one. It was a hell of a setup, but yeah, Wolf going to be showing off that he's not the only character in this game. It gets to benefit off of a lack of end lag, but Rob <laughs> yeah. definitely benefiting off of all these ways to find up airs. Yeah. Oh, that laser was just so close, but nice get up attack from Alex. Gonna be able to get out of that sticky situation. Trying to find this back here, but oh, missed tag and oh no! Wow. Fails that jab block, very unfortunate, but no jump here by Alex, and that's gonna be it. Never mind, not a down smash, too much shield stun, I guess. That's yeah. gonna be the first stock for Ouch. It was a bit of a lucky break for Ouch there. Yeah, not enough shield stun, so I'm not able to find his down there, especially oh. missing oh, the, damn. <laughs> missing oh, oh, the damn. Four, but Ouch is cooking right now. <laughs> if he found that landing forward, I'm pretty sure he got back here. That would have been so sick, but great advantage day coming from Ouch here. Such a good lead, but ooh, trying to get an up throw. Not gonna get it. Oh, wait, wait, it's, it's killing. What? Damn. Doesn't no matter how much of a lead you have, as long as you're up high enough percent, especially Zomba able to. Scenario, trying to forward throw onto the other platform, but Zomba DIing up, well aware of that situation. Oh, she's now playing it safe under the platform, but never mind. Going to be able to find a Nair. Trying to find a second one, but ooh, that downer actually going to be able to get him. But still, not the good hitbox, so. We have 47%. Down tilt, dash attack. Nice forward air. You know, I would have said oh, before that... Oh, <laughs> oh, that kill! <laughs> the reversal is insane! I was about to talk about how Zumba can make an easy comeback off of a ledge trap, but instead, here is Ouch, hitting a classic little forward air into the side B. He seems to be the front runner when it comes to Wolf side B. Like, this is your man. Oh, for sure. And oh, so unfortunate. Going to be able to fall out of that side B right there. Definitely wanted that, but nice little combo from Alex. Tries to find that landing forward air. Of course, just such a good option as Wolf, man. You get so many combos off that, and... Definitely want to get it out. Like, look, bro. Damn, another landing and forward air, up air. Already at 77%, but this up air is yeah. the deal for the second stock. 
I mean, Notch is so good at finding these little two pieces, whether it's a forwarder into up air, forwarder into side B, forward into anything. Like, that is your combo move. As long as you're able to hit it and then hit something else, you're going to be building up a lot of percent. But here comes Zomba, building up a lot of percent of his own. Already up to 72. Ouch. He had such a lead, but it's just been blown away from Zomba's Rob, impressive Rob. neutral state. Just known for putting on the pressure, man, with the down tilts and the nares, man. It's just so hard to deal with it. Of course, Ouch is going to fall victim to it. But ooh, down tilt into the grab. This is looking scary. Good forward throw. Oh, downing on a steel shield, but nice back from Ouch. Mm -hmm. This is Ouch's turn to ledge trap right now, but there's not much of a ledge trap that is going to occur when Zomba decides to just go all the way into the air, landing with the snare, no lag on it. I'm just trying to shield, find Ooh. anything here. The dash attack just not working. Yeah, very unfortunate. Wow, nice back air from Ouch here, but unfortunately not going to be able to get the sweet spot on it. They're both such high percent. It's going to look so scary. Of course, any back air. Oh, misses the tag. Never mind. Doesn't commit to it, though. Oh, uh, okay, that's definitely a miss input. Oh no, not gonna be able to punish it. There's a lot of spaghetti on your screen at the moment, but <laughs> let it be known. Yeah. One of these players is gonna have to take Ooh. it out of this last situation. Oh, never. Not that was not even just close. Yet. Fake kill screen, my brother. Yeah, I mean, great DI by Alice. Not gonna get killed by that off the top, but we're trying to find another narrow. There's so many trades going on at the moment. <laughs> It feels weird in the situation because even though Ouch has the higher percent, he's able to get the stronger hit first. Has the gyro as well to work with. Wants to go with one of these up tilts, forward tilt coming out. Every single move's coming oh. out. Dash attack is not what you want to see on your opponent's shield. Zomba, getting that up throw. Yeah, that ugh, dash attack, man. Sometimes it's really good, but sometimes, like, especially if you hit the late hits of it, it's just so committal. And so I'm going to punish that accordingly. 2 0 up. Wow. Taking a lead, but what an impressive game from Ouch in that one. He had a lead for such a long time. He's just Zomber in those losses situations. His survivability on this character is absolutely insane. You can, it's second to none. Yeah. And Ouch sticking with the wolf here. I mean, actually, I don't know why I said that. He's, why would he switch? Yeah. <laughs> he just switched to Rob. Oh, yeah. That character's broke. <laughs> for sure. But getting back onto the Pokemon Stadium, too. Both NA players, man, they uh -oh. love this stage. And ooh, not going to jump and get hit by that. Thank God. But that, oh my God, that Nair to side B. Barely not going to kill and tries to find that forward That definitely would have done it. But great presence of mine from Ouch. Yeah, not able to seal out the stock in an edge guard fashion. But maybe we can seal it out on stage. Zomba able to follow the tech as well. The roll in was caught with the down tilt, but here comes Ouch. Got the gyro in hand, gonna be able to throw it away there. And ooh, tries to find this back here, but a little bit too below the stage to be able to get that hit. He's really putting on the pressure right now, but Zomba has gyro and laser and a down throw. Let's see if he confirms it. What a mash. Ooh, the nair, gonna get punished. The back throw. Gonna be a lit in the air for Ouch here. Of course, Rob's still at 86%. I don't think he's gonna find a kill, but Zob putting on the pressure back. Gonna get that gyro, and he's back off stage. It's looking so scary for him. The potential's always there as long as gyro's at the ledge, but disappearing just at the time when Ouch needed to make it back to the stage. Quite fortunate, not able to find the forward tilt kill, though. Just wants to find Ooh. anything here. Oh, the that's like, that's and he texts it. Oh what? my god, okay. Not gonna matter too long, though. Gonna be able to get that F tilt, but wow. At like 110% with sweet spot side B. I mean, not gonna be able to get that spike, but oh, nice up throw by Zamba. It's a good answer back immediately, but genuinely confused as Zamba was able to get that tech there, but. If you're able to find the tech, he surely will. Gonna survive as long as he can against this wolf laser coming up and then covering the low recovery oh as well with these down tilts. Zomba covering everything the in the stage. pressure right, right now. now is absolutely insane. Keeping him on the stage. Another tech? Bro. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God. He cannot be stopped at the ledge. Zomba, a hell of a lead right now. The pressure, man. Just abusing the fact that wolf's recovery isn't that great. And it's just, bro, he's absolutely crazy right now. I was gonna answer right back with the landing fair, but gonna get reversal by Zama here up till up till into the up air. Tried to find the air dodge with the back, but unfortunately too far to the right. Actually able to follow that spot dodge though from Zomba, but not able to continue with this forward. You know he probably wants to get these forward is confirm it to a bit more percent until he's able to take the stock, but Zomba is not letting this lead run away from him. He's keeping the pressure on. Chucking out oh. on the stage, gets that B reverse, oh, but... Oh, okay. He's well. not gonna be able to take that one. <laughs> well, have fun taking in the bottom blast zone, but he just got spiked. Yeah. Gonna be able to get that kill off here, and Ouch still on a stock, but of course, he's got such a percent deficit. It's looking so grim for him at the moment. The potential's always there, but the kill power of Rob, especially when piloted by one such as Zomba, is absolutely insane. But don't count Ouch out just yet. Ooh, bounces off the ground and able to hit Zomba, but unfortunately, not gonna be able to follow up on it. Not gonna be able to pick up the dry arrow. Ooh, gonna be able to get that laser off with the tech chase. That was looking so scary. Nair, of course, not gonna kill just yet, though. He's keeping this one on lock, oh. but here comes an up throw. That might just be it. Yeah, yes, it is. It. Clean little 3-0 from Zomba. Yep. 
a close fought game for Mouch as well. Sure. Just happened that in all those final hits or in those final situations, when Zomba had a lead, he held on to it. I, I need okay. I need to swap up as well. No, you can you can stay on. No, but I need to I need to you know what I'm saying? I need a little break. I'll be I'll be back in a second, Tobu. Cover for me. Welcome, Drama Alert Nation. <laughs> Man. Man, was that a set. Am I right, guys? Yeah, Zomba, you got the... So... Chat to reset the chat. Hey, can you refresh? I can't, I can't, I can't see the chat. I'm from school. Well, I'm just gonna shoot myself then. I'll use my hotspot. Thank you, thank you, Sean from school. Go, go, go! I have I ever casted with you, Zone? No, first time. Um, maybe like once. Maybe once. Damn. What are we gonna do for a side event, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Should we? We can't. We can't. At the end of the day, just not have a side event. So then we. Uh, bro, I, I I got on the iPad, dog. Right. Bro, <laughs> I got on the iPad. You're good. I think that's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> it's carpet floor. You'll be fine. I my fault. Okay, yeah, that's true. I probably shouldn't throw it. Where are you right now? Wait, so co it's Cosmos AK. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No, Jogi Busan. So. Yes, sir. Red food, red food. Cosmos Jogi Boo. And um, is that the last game? Oh, and then I think we have Naocha Atoria on, on our, our. Do we have that on our stream? I kind of want to. Thank you, I love Atelier. <laughs> He's so hype, bro. Um, Jokey Boo, All right. Cosmos, right? S suck my dick, Artrix. Yeah, something like that. What? I said I love you. <laughs> Australian fucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I love you, Artrix. All right. All right, yeah, take care, man. Wait, you said... Wait, which match? So the one we have is will be Cosmos and Jogi Boo. Okay. Well, that is we're on one pro four right now. Oh wait no. Oh no, right here. Wait, yeah. what happened to this match? Cosmos AK. Okay, somebody started on accident. I think Cosmos AK is not supposed to happen. So they they didn't do it yet. Yo. No no they're they're finished. Cosmos AK What? <laughs> Hey, Cosmos AK, what do you mean? Hey, Cosmos to AK. Alright, whatever. Um. Can we have AK Kanaji here on stream? So a lot of the stuff, we're splitting the stream with the salary people. So it's in French. But I mean, you know, learn French, I don't know. It should be. AK one three one over Cosmos, yeah. I thought I thought I remember this. AK AK one? What do you mean? So a AK one, right? AK1, yeah. Okay, so Cos... Cos yeah, so Cosmos only has one win. Jogby only has one win, right? Oh, yeah, true. So this is, like, a really important set. Wait, Cosmos has a win? Who did he beat? Kinaji? No, he lost oh, to Kinaji. Oh, wait, no, no, uh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. And he lost to AK, right? Mm -hmm. So he, he needs to win this if he can... to have. A f so he's already guaranteed it to be in the loser's bracket. Yeah. T to get third, he needs to be... J Jogi Boo? Yeah, he needs to be Jogi Boo to get third. Yeah. But if Jogi, Jogi Boo beats Boo. Cosmos, he'll have two wins. He'll he'll start off in winners. Mm -hmm. But if he loses, wait, fuck. Okay, well it'll be completely confusing. <laughs> Star GG does it for us automatically. Don't gotta worry about that. Cosmos, man, I'm, I'm, I like the hair. <laughs> yeah, I like it too. I like the hair. So the character's gonna be, um, I'm guessing, Aegis versus, I mean. 
Falcon versus Aegis. No, I'm guessing motherfucking Duck Hunt Dog versus me Brawler. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I, I'm a little tired right now. Nobody wanted to play QM, so <laughs> can you give me my water? W were you excited to play QM? I kind I wanted to watch like the four foreign play players play QM, but like yeah. I didn't care. I mean, honestly, it also kind of fucks you up when mm -hmm. like to play QM before an actual bracket. So I understand why. It's a totally different game. Yeah, that's true. But side stream is um, Twitch.tv slash. Or Twitch.tv underscore Sakor underscore, I think. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going to game one, Jogi Boo versus Cosmos, and uh, yeah, who would have thought? Zone was correct, man. <laughs> you should be, you should be, you should be a fortune teller, man. How did you know it was gonna be? Oh my God! Uh, Holy <laughs> shit, bro. Okay, we're, we, we're, spike. yeah, bro. I, 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 we, we're going right into it, bro. I was gonna make a joke about how you, you know, you should be a fortune teller, but oh, bro, this guy is getting so many up airs right now, bro. Ooh, you gotta look. Ooh, I love that. Damn, Jogi Boo already bring the heat against Cosmos right now. We're gonna have to see if he can bring this back a little bit. Oh, nice jump read, but manages to stuff it out with the down air. Good stuff from Jogi Boo. Oh, Cosmos? Yep. That's punish. Dash attack? Really good neutral coming out from both of these plays right now. Don't wanna spend too much time getting back to the middle of the stage, but we'll try his best to. Uh, Make sure not to take any more percent, that's for sure. Playing safe. Uh, Cosmos gets the first hit, but he's off stage now. Jab? Jab, baby? Uh, no, mind. Wait, like, damn, this is, like, really even at this point. Like, honestly, like, Jogi Boo is kind of messing Cosmos up, but mm -hmm. now he's, you know, I say that, but Cosmos is a little bit on the yeah. ropes right now. 168% hey, upbeat? He just can kill at this percent, too, so, like, it's basically even. That's true. All it takes is an up tilt back air, anything like that. Oh, oh. or that. Damn. <laughs> it just broke in? <laughs> yep, fair enough. Good stuff oh. from Cosmos, taking the first stock. By the way, for a little bit of context, Cosmos was asleep, like, uh, before bracket started. Like, apparently he had a podcast or something until, like, 4 a.m., and he, like, came to the venue, like, super tired. <laughs> and, like, while we're all, like, while staff and stuff is setting up, he's, yeah. like, asleep. He's, he's sleeping on the bed that the main T.O. slept on yesterday night, so... <laughs> According to him, it was warm. Anyways, going into speaking of warm things, we want to make sure this set brings the heat, to say the least. So 79% on Cosmos now, doing a really good job. Oh, oh no, Jogi Boo. No. Oh. Cosmos, good stuff. Yeah, a full stock lead right now. Yeah. I love Jogi Boo, he's so... But also, I think... Bro, Cosmos has so, such good peaks. Like, mm -hmm. I remember watching him at that, like, Smash World Tour. Yeah. Bro, I was literally popping off so hard. And then, oh, straight up back here. Damn. Eat that. I can't believe it's even. It, it's like, it, it's yeah, going it doesn't like feel really back and forth. Even, but. E even like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, never mind. All right, going into 30% for on both of these players. Jogi Boo, great job extending the combo with the F tilt, but yeah, it's going to be a punish. Yeah. 60% now. Oh, oh, at the ledge, at the ledge, baby. Down smash sends the other way, unfortunate, but manages to grab the tech chase with the ups. Okay, uh, hit stop B. Oh, oh, miss it. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. Tech chase, or tech chase. All right, we just do an up piece. Down air. Oh, yep, forward air. Never mind, never mind. Cosmos takes game one. Yeah, Which I guess is... What? The nerf, I mean, the buff wasn't enough to save him. You, yeah, You, you know, the, what was it called? Rock croc? Rock, rock croc. Yeah. Croc rock, rock croc. <laughs> Something like that. Wait, but like, okay, how does this gonna work? Like, if Cosmos wins this, I think. Who knows? All right. Every every oh other God, person has like, like at least one win already, right? Yeah. So everybody has at least one win. AK has two wins. Mm -hmm. So if he beats Kanaji, he goes out 3 0 first place for sure. And it's a fight for the other spot in winner. So basically, the way this tournament works is there's four pools. And then within the four pools determines a double elimination bracket for day two, which is tomorrow. And then the top two people of the pools will make it out through winners, and then the bottom two will go out through losers. So this is really important for both players right now. Their winner's bracket life is on the life. Sean from school, can you please change the setup? Thank you. Now we're at the game. 18%. Oh yeah, jab is really easy to force out. Right, for real? 
Like, uh, oh yeah, I, I guess you, like you any just like ma mash it. I mean, <laughs> I, I think it was jab one, so like, it wasn't what I was like talking about, but like the multi hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Seventy seven percent on Jogi Boo right now. He needs to definitely coming in here as the highest seed. Oh, Ooh. nice. Uh, down B. Exactly. That's like, I don't like. I don't know if that's a good landing option or not. Is it? It was probably the right choice, right option in that scenario. I think. It's like always a mix-up, but I don't know if it's like actually a reliable mix-up or not. Oh! Wait. Oh, no. He's dead. He's dead. Yep. Damn. My goat. Stomp. Game Game one. Going to Cosmos, but Jogibu trying to bring it back a little bit, especially on his uh, choice of stage as well. Cosmos just chilling out right now, trying to find this kill. Doesn't want to overextend too much, but Jogibu managed to find the opening. Oh, good Up as well, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry, I, I, I burped a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Pro <coughs> Prominence Revolt definitely uh, making sure Cosmos goes through uh, with the safe recovery, but oh my gosh, already 100% on him. This is looking really good for Jogi Boo right now. Catches him with the Nair. Yeah, I feel like Aegis sometimes have like a hard time getting the kills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. All right. Anyways, great stuff for oh, yeah, still, still not killing. <laughs> still not killing. 169. And I feel like, man, the, bro, Falcon has such good airspeed. Oh, wait. No, he's dead. Damn. Finally, Cosmos being able to find one stock, but a whole lead, stock lead for Jogibu right now. Super important. Cosmos, he doesn't have a single win in bracket currently, so... If this could be the, his first win, which is also I mean, against Jogibu, who's the highest seed in his might pool. might get a zero to death right now. Oh, miss. Oh, miss. Yeah, d does a misreads it and goes for the low recovery. But Jogibu, knowing better, recovers high. Here at the ledge. It was jab. That's not going to kill just yet. Let's see how. Ooh, up B. Oh, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna go for some crazy, bro. I, I saw him parry the near one. I'm like, okay, this guy's going cooking something up. But Jogi Boo doesn't want to let that happen. Oh, just managed to the up be oh. catching him. Yeah, the hit stun was like so big. <laughs> he allowed, exactly. He was able to you just use two up Bs. 170% on Jogi Boo. Signs of life here from Cosmos. Oh, keeps using the up Bs though. 97% and down air. Two frame. Wow, two frame. Good stuff from Jogi Boo. Bringing it back game two. 1-1 one, one for both of these players. Oh, yeah, he he was like really good at like avoiding Aegis uh, Pyro's kill kill options. Like he lived a really long time. Yeah. Um, I feel like I don't know. I really want both of these players to win because mm -hmm. like <laughs> I really want both of these players to win. But I don't know if Cosmos, you know, he he was a little sleepy this morning, so. I mean. I think he's gonna go. Both these players are gonna go beast mode in the main bracket, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I think these are like definitely people you don't want to fight in losers. So it's gonna be super tough for their opponents later on. Fighting Cosmos and Jogaboo. Sean from school, can you please switch the setup? <laughs> Back here at Town and City, a bit of a longer stage, maybe something, and the shorter sides, maybe it'll make it easier for Cosmos to get his kills. But oh wow, nice try. Trying to go for the extension with the down air, but unfortunately, not gonna connect. Lands oh. with the Falcon kick though. Maybe it's like effective against Aegis. I, I don't know. I feel like it's a mi it's a mix up, right? Surely it's a mix up. But you don't see it too often. Yeah. I feel like. Oh, should I have back air? Okay, uses a platform <gasps> to get back. Oh, weak nair but or weak nair. <laughs> weak nair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? No, it's not. Is he gonna edge edge guard? Oh, mixing it up right now. Good stuff from Cosmos, understanding that it's harder to catch Mithra like that. So mixing up between the two uh, uh, characters. Great stuff from him as well. But Jogi Boo still manages to find the first stock. Oh my gosh, I I honestly, if that, would that have killed? Uh, if it if it uh, hit? Uh, probably not. It, it would have been like an edge guard situation, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Damn. It is what it is though. 50% here on Cosmos and Jogi Boo. Fighting for his life right now, forward air. Still That's doesn't not gonna kill. kill. Even oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, are you just chilling? F tilting? Watch. Spot dodge up tilt. That's how Cosmos is going to get a tilt. Never mind there. Oh, wait, no, it's going to be. Uh, Still not up smash. Up smash out of shield. 
Oh, you got it. <laughs> I'm a genius. You All should right. be the fortune teller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 84% here now on Cosmos. Manages to find the stock, even it up. And, uh, oh my gosh, we already know how Aegis, uh, Mithra is so good at finding these combos. But Falcon not going to let that happen. Ooh, Falcon kicks away. I don't even know if that yeah, was a... Any stray hit can lead to, like, combo. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, at the ledge. Maybe? It's so scary. Oh, went for the... Spike with the oh wow I love what he did there he like the tech chase platform and then he went for the knee mm -hmm. wow great stuff from Jogi but not connecting though but oh my gosh trying to find the near Raptor boost not connecting rapid jab oh yeah forward air watch another forward air oh never mind. he has a jump now okay. fair enough good stuff from Jogi uh, understanding oh wait no reversal never oh. mind okay they both died oh yeah the up <laughs> the up hit stun is really hit long is so long. <laughs> Cosmos needs to be Jogibu oh. to make it out into oh, oh my gosh, still thirty percent. Like, yeah, this is like really even right now. Like compared to last game, like Jogibu kind of like was saucing, saucing on Cosmos, but you know now now he's keeping up. Good stuff to him. Lightning Buster sixty five percent now on Jogibu, but manages to come back with the upbeat. Oh, dash attack catching him rolling in. That's from there. Watch. Oh, oh my god. That was so close. Okay. It's oh, catches the jump. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh but he lands on. Oh, yeah. Rapid jab. Switch to Pyra. Never mind. Oh, catches him. Oh, wow. Just at the lip. I think he's dead. Oh, he's... Good stuff for Cosmos taking game three. <laughs> Jogibu is up now. <laughs> yeah, Jogibu is up. Uh, not anymore. Oh wait, Jogibu was up for a second. Wow. <laughs> Fire this guy, VGBC. <laughs> Anyways, Cosmos takes game three, I believe. So it's the next wait, so if Cosmos wins this, it really kind of It's like a tie, like Yeah, a we'll three, have two, to I think it's tie, a tie right? tie yeah, it's a, it'll be a three way tie for second place. And then I think what are we gonna do? Is it like set count based or is I it just like we do like matches and stuff? Um We'll see. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But right now, we got to focus on what's going on at Battlefield as well. The home, some would say, of Captain Falcon. You can definitely get a bunch of, excuse me, really good ladder combos. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love the Tomahawk. Oh, oh. and straight downer? Oh, he Barely lives. made it back. Oh, yeah, I don't think this stage is too bad for Aegis. It's not like Aegis has, like, a bad stage. But yeah. it's, I guess it's, like, especially good for Falcon. Definitely manages the catch. Cosmos jumping as well. Oh, and oh. sends him straight back down. A whole stock lead for Jogi Boo right now. Not looking good. It wasn't a whole oh. stock lead. It was 23%. But rapid jab. Never mind. Roll in. F smash. Oh, no. Oh, I caught him up. Wait. Can you finish him? Oh, oh, no. If he had stayed Mithra, he definitely could have gotten the F smash. A little bit greedy there from Cosmos. Tried to bring it back. But now here we are at the up air trains. 65% on him right now. But man, just come back. Ooh, side B into forward air on the top platform as well. Oh, good stuff. Spot dodging. Recognizing that he was going to get the grab. Oh, double jump. Oh, yeah? Oh, no, bro. I really thought he was going to get that stomp me. The go-to Falcon combo, some would say. But we have him at ledge now. A little bit scary. Cosmos oh, went for a ledge trump, but it's not going to connect. It was like the first one of this game, too. Up he had a shield? Not yet. Can you punish that? No. Oh, can't, can't, Did, can't, didn't he get the full hop? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, 149% on Jogi Boo. Anything will kill at this point. Looking really scary for both of these players. Even 94% can definitely lead into some very threatening combos, but catches him with the landing up air. Cosmos gets his first stock. Yeah, but he's already at 90, 100%. Yeah. Oh, and at ledge. Oh, I thought the soft Neem was going to like, like cheese him or something. <laughs> But, uh, oh, yeah, same with Pyro. Oh, almost caught him air dodging with the F smash, but unfortunate. Just a little too close. Oh, beautiful side B. Manages to catch. Okay, really good, good percent. Yeah, 57%. He's bringing it back, Cosmos. Let's see if it hold down smash into uh, knee. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to catch uh, Jogi Boo slipping, that's for sure. Good stuff from him. Double dash attack catches him on the tech. She's oh, <gasps> almost landed the F smash, but... Unfortunately, the landing there is what pulled through. 
Up he had a shield. That's such good damage, man. 30%, or I don't know how much it is, but... And it's like, even after you up B, Falcon has such good air speed that you can just like move all over the place. It's to not where, like, like you can get like a huge punish off of it. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, you have to be really smart. Like, oh my gosh, almost 20%. Up air, up air. 84% now on uh, Mithra, or sorry, Pyra, excuse me. Good thing Cosmos didn't air dodge because Jogibu was definitely looking for that. Exactly. Tried to find the stomp knee, Jogibu. He's looking for his kill, confirms. Gentlemen, 105%. Down air? Oh. oh, wow. The side hitbox killing Cosmos off the side. We have a game five, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Cosmos. Pulling through with the hair. <laughs> oh, is it pi is it supposed to be Pyromithra? Because it's half red, half, half green. We'll oh, ask, we'll really? Ask, we'll ask him later. I, I think so. Wait, no way I was going to see the Rosalina and Luma coming up. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tried and true Captain Falcon. That's for sure what's pulling through. And this Cosmos is favorite stage, right? Oh, wait, is it? Uh, I no. think so. Or, like, uh, I think Shot for school. Can you please change the setup? <laughs> Jogibu with 40. F oh, my gosh. Oh, Jogibu's kind of cooking him right now. 50%. Oh, never mind. Oh, very smart. Cosmos wanted to wait out uh, for an option, but unfortunately, Jogibu knew a little bit better. Oh, rising there. Please. Tech chase. Watch. Nair one knee. Nair one knee for Jogi Man. That's my prediction. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that up smash would have even hit him. Like, honestly. Just straight F smash? Oh my gosh. We know yeah, how good Cosmos has been at the, the ledge. Oh, no. I respect it, Cosmos. But Jogi Boo not going to let you get away with stuff like that. Stomp knee. Definitely going to be able to. Oh, no oh, jump I too, love right? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, he, he got it back. I really love that from Cosmos. Managed to get the uh, neutral B after the down tilt. Great stuff. Oh, almost read the... He, he was looking to read the air dodge, mm -hmm. but uh, unable to punish it. Cosmos needs to find this kill. It's so scary once Jokibu gets his momentum. The up airs are coming. Oh, oh, went for the... Down air. I thought he was going to go for Nair. 69% on Cosmos right now. Shout out 69. But is he going to be able to find this kill? No. Jogibu gets the up B. Comes back, but up smash out of shield. That's going to kill. Okay, Cosmos 90%. already at 90%. Oh, yeah. Oh! But <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I love doing what Cosmos is doing. Whenever I play Aegis, I just like be like switching around. This uh -huh. is fun. <laughs> like, I, it makes it look like I'm doing like a crazy ass tech, but I'm just pushing down B like a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, 27% on Jogibu. And yeah, now he's just playing safe. He, there's no need for him to approach right now. And especially with how threatening Mithra is. Oh, good stuff. Man, just catch down throw up B. 53% F tilt into forward air. Oh, went for the jump read, but it's not going to connect. Yeah, Cosmos keeps on getting the re He has the read, but he's not getting the punish. Oh, rising there. Oh, yeah, that's going to go punished. So close between both of these players. 144% on Cosmos. 86% on Jogibu. Anything can kill at this point. I think a back air or something like that. Landing Nair? Tried to go for an extension, but Jogibu says, that's my, that's on me because I got the landing Nair. Up behind a shield, that's yeah. dead. <laughs> I said it like, I don't know. I said it like I was just like, oh! oh! <laughs> Straight up F smash, boy! <laughs> that was so huge for Bro, Cosmos. That, was so that wrong. saved him. That that's like a Cosmos F smash, to be fair. Speaking oh, of reversal? Cosmos things, 40% on town oh. and city? 77% on the side platform of town. So scary. Oh, managed to hit his, get his shield out in time, but... He's looking for a reversal. Yeah, exactly. Looking <laughs> down, for down a reversal so hard right now. Cosmos, down smash? Oh, the platform's not there anymore. Oh, great stuff. No jump. Um, managed to come back to the ledge, though. Chokibu. Second chance at life here. 65% up smash. 91% on Cosmos right now. He needs to land. Up here a shield that's killing? Not just Barely. yet. 126% on Pyramithra right now. How's he going to get off this ledge? Blazing end. Up B reverses, but he gets 147%. We're going to take that if I'm Jogibu. Up B again. Whoops, but oh, doesn't get the punish. No! <laughs> Great stuff, Jogibu getting a back air, and that's gonna our back throw, and that's gonna seal out the set. Uh, three two.
<laughs> I like how I just I just turned into a robot after, after that. that. That was a really good back throw too. Like he didn't see it coming. He he wasn't. Yeah, ready that to was. The eye. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, cause, yeah, no, and like it's, what uh, else could have killed there? Exactly. Like, that, that's what I'm thinking. Unfortunate from Cosmos. Go Cosmos um, finds himself losing to Jogi Boo. Good stuff to Jogi Boo though. Pulled through. Really showed that he has the has the mental like that. Um, yeah. yeah. Are we done with? ショウシャガだと思う。いや、一応、に、にの人が二人ぐらいおるねんやん。だから、あ、ギブさん二回勝ってるんですか。あ、じゃあ、え？木梨も二回勝ってるん。え、じゃあ、でもジョギブさん、
you as a player. I remember I first heard of you when Smash World Tour was going on. Oh, and yeah. then the qualifiers, and then you won the Australia qualifier. Yeah. And I looked at like the Australia qualifier, and like, I was like, what? I was like, wait, I thought, I, wait, what? <laughs> and uh, I think a lot of people know you from that too. Like, your first big one was maybe that, would you yeah. say? And then, like, Australia. What, like, what, what, what? Did you, did you used to live in Australia or? Um, no, I moved to Australia when I was 10. Uh huh. Yeah. So, before that, I lived in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I've been living in Australia for five years. Five years? Yeah. But you, you moved here recently, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Five years in Australia? Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. And uh, you have really great English, too, mm. I like to say. So, um, yeah, you go through first in your pool. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, usually, like, I've been doing the interviews today, but, like, I don't really know Smash like that, so I'm just going to ask you some, like, really goofy-ass questions. Yep. So, you have to be, you have to pick between being a cowboy, cowboy. a samurai, or a pirate. Who, what are you being? Samurai. Samurai? Yeah. Why? Why? Samurai's the best. Why? Okay, why? Why, though? Why? Is it, do you think it's just the coolest? Yeah. Cause right, that's the best. All right, what, what about cowboy? Good. That, that's, okay, whatever. That's okay, but good. pirate sucks, right? Mm. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, also, yep. hold on, let me look at your bracket. Oh, yeah, so you went, like, last hit, last stop with Jogi Boo. Yeah. Jogi Boo song. That was so tense for yeah. all of us. So, like, what was going through your mind Especially, and that was your first game, right? Yeah, uh, second game. Oh, second game. Yep. And then your first game was 3-0 over Cosmos. So, okay, actually, I want to ask you, mm. like, people don't really know you outside of Australia and Japan, yep. I would say. Like, do you th like, I don't really think, not to, you know, make assumptions or anything, but, like, the American audience doesn't really know too yeah, much I about... Yeah, nobody knows me. <laughs> no, 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 listen, <laughs> listen. This is the Yeah, but... Like going out straight up 3 0 in Cosmos, yep. definitely was a power play, right? Like, mm. did you, were you feeling it today? Like, like, kill nori nori datta, or was it like, mm. you know, how were you feeling? I was playing very, very good from yesterday, okay. so I thought I can definitely win today as well. Mm -hmm. Fair yep. enough, fair enough. And uh, your second game against Jogi Boo was a heartbreaker, yeah. for sure. Like, we were all watching, and then, like, how did you make sure that even though it was so tough against Jogi Boo, you managed to have the mental to 3 0 Apollo Kage, the best snake in the world, mm. some would say. So, like, what was going through your mind after the loss and then after the win over Apollo Kage as well? Mm, before his match, I thought, like, after Joe gave his match, yeah. I thought I could have win because um, it was very close. So, but after that, I thought, like, I actually played very well. Yeah. Even the result. It's not very good. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought I'm playing very well today, and I can win against Apollo Kage as well because I'm pretty confident against Snake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I also play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yep. Also, um, another question. If you, you you don't have to answer this, and if you don't know the answer, yep. then and if you have like issues with like like your sponsor, I, I don't know if you have a sponsor, but if your sponsor yeah. or something has problems with uh, mentioning mm. it, then you don't have to answer this. But like, are you thinking about <laughs> traveling anytime soon? Like someplace you'd like to go, like a tournament you'd like to go in America or? I really want to go, but no money. Mm, no money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, that's 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 true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so true. Mm. Like, what tournament would you love to go to though? Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. Yep. Uh, anything else? Like, like maybe like mm. you know, just Genesis. Like every big American tournament. Yeah. Because I've never been to America before. You've never been? No. Don't go. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I'm half American. I'm half American. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, no. I've never been to Genesis either. I know a couple of players here are going, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, Genesis is like the. <laughs> Sort of like the Super Bowl of Smash Bros. Yeah. Maybe it's like so. It's like the tournament, right? Yeah. So, yeah, great stuff. Um, do you know? Who, I, let me see who you're playing tomorrow. Base Mage, maybe. Base Mage. Yep. Wait, Puff. Puff. <laughs> this could be a really good run from you tomorrow. I don't want to put any pressure on you, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But let's see tomorrow. Tomorrow you play Base Mage, and then the winner of Gluttony Atelier. 
Now, I love Autoria song, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I played him day two of Evo Pools. And oh, then, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, he destroyed me. Like, I, I didn't take a stock. I, I think I took a stock. But, <laughs> enough about me. Yep, yep. How do you feel about Puff Shul- Snake? Shulk, I guess? Snake. That Snake? Oh, okay, okay. Is that, uh, is that, is it, do you, are you confident in that? Or do you play many Puffs? Or? I'm pretty confident, but I'm not sure because. Yeah. Senra Puff does pretty well against me. Okay. So I think there's, even though it's pretty bad matchup for Puff, mm-hmm. I think it's possible for Puff to win. Yeah. So, so like, I'm pretty scared. Yeah, 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 obviously no pressure. I mean, like, you know, it's important to just look at the bracket and yeah. then feel yourself and, uh, you know, you know, oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But, yeah, I, I'm excited to see more. Um, yep. Um, any other questions? Any other questions? Just feel free to type them in the chat. I know a bunch of a bunch of people from Australia literally like love you. I think so. Mm. I didn't even know Kanaji is so young. Yeah, how you're 16, right? I'm 15. Oh my god, bro. But I'm gonna turn 16 tomorrow. Oh, oh, ha- oh, perfect. Well, yo, if you turn 16 tomorrow and you win Cafeteria Cup, first of all, all of Australia is like popping off. <laughs> yeah. And second, that's the best birthday present ever. Right? Yeah. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I started playing Smash when I was 16 too, and now I'm a commentator, so I mean. Yeah. Saga <laughs> Hageshi. No, no, no. Commentator, yeah. that's actually pretty no, good. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm the best commentator out of everybody here, but I mean, yeah, that's besides you the are, point. You are. Yeah, yeah, that's besides the point. <laughs> um, um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see some questions. <laughs> Kanaji, do you know who Juice World is? No? It's a rapper. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. What snakes do you watch when you play Snake? AK, AK, Dio, Hot, mm-hmm. and I used to watch Shogun a lot. Shogun, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to, yeah. I really love Shogun. I mean, he retired, but I, I watch yeah. his like YouTube videos all the time. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. What else is there? Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, all right, I'm just going to ask you a bunch of... Cr- Kanaji, what do we think of Playboy Cardi? Do you know who Playboy Cardi is? No. All right, wait, what music do you listen to? What music do you uh, listen to? My favorite is Zutomayo. Zutomayo? I don't know them. Nobody knows them. <laughs> do you listen to music in bracket? Yeah. Uh, do you listen to them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, do you listen... Do you have, like, a pl- specific playlist that you listen to that, like, gets you in the zone? Yeah, so, like... Yeah. Every time before the tournament, I just pick like seven music. Yeah. And yeah, play them. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, who is underrated in Australia? Do you think? Who do you think is next up out of the region? Do you know? I mean, you don't you don't live there anymore, but like you know, back in the day, maybe I like. Them. I live there now. Oh, you still live there? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, wow! I didn't even. I didn't even know. Wait, so you're just visiting right now? Yeah. Oh. Well, well, welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was like, I was like, I just assumed you lived here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, do do you know like who's next out of our show? Um, and, and you, you know, I think to. my top three is DMO, Amphizan, Zach. DMO, Amphizan, and Zach. Yeah. Who do they play? So DMO plays Joker, Bailes, and Amphizan plays Mario, mm-hmm. and Zach plays uh, Kazuya Pacman. Mm-hmm. T. <laughs> T, yeah. it's T. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think yeah. they're like very improving fast. So yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah, that's uh yeah, that's crazy. I mean mm. there's so like Australia is also like one of the regions where it's un I, I don't want to say underdeveloped, but like underrepresented. Mm. Like uh, obviously Japan has like Smash Mate, so it's so easy for everybody to get good at the game. Yeah. But like places like Australia where it's like really far away obviously is a yeah, lot more yeah, difficult. Yeah. So I see, but um um, yeah, I guess that's it. What's your favorite color? Black? <laughs> why, 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 why did you struggle off the what is your favorite like, color question? I don't have any. You don't have black? Black and white. Okay, that's a, that's a good yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, what is your favorite animal? Cat. Cat? cat? Wait, yeah. somebody else said cat. Watch Yay. his favorite color. Watch his favorite. Neo said cat too, so a lot of people oh, yeah, love yeah. cats. Um, yeah. My favorite color is purple. My favorite animal is pigs. All right. Pig? Yeah. I used to work at a pig cafe. Oh, okay. So right. I, 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 I'm, yeah. I like a pig bunch of meat as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, well, thanks for... Uh, uh, Kanaji, what is your favorite season? Natsu, Aki, Fuyu, Haru. Spring? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, did the, you did the correct <laughs> answer. All right. Well, um, yeah, that's it for, yep. for now. Thanks for coming on. Thank I appreciate you so much. it. Yeah, yeah, congrats yeah, as thank well. You. Really good uh, from you. So, uh, yeah, we'll be here. Of course. On the stream? All right. We, yeah, okay, so, so they got to they gotta take some media. So yeah, no problem. Oh, sorry, last thing, Kanaji. Anything you want to say to your fans? I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> That's me. That was to me. That's to you. That was to you. Wow. And there he goes. Are we are we going to get another interview? Or? I don't know if there's any players left. Did I think leave? everyone was like, oh. Bracket's over. Go. We're done with pools. <laughs> Let's go explore. I think most people are exploring Comic Con, and I compliment them for it. You know, yeah. they're, they're, they're picking their time in Japan to explore around instead of playing the game. That's fair. But holy balls, Kanaji. Oh, wait, we have Zomba. Do you want to talk to Zomba? We, we, I can talk yeah, to Zomba. Yeah, do an interview Zomba. All right, bye. I'm going to go play more Smash. Have fun. I love you, Kanaji. You can talk to Zomba. All right, Zomba, get your ass on the mic, bro. <laughs> Zomba, who are you voting for? <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, Sean. Hello. Um, were you first in your pool? Of course off. I was. Sorry. F off. Frick off. <laughs> VGBC, you can't say that. <laughs> um, were you first in your pool? Of course I was. There's no doubt in me being first in my pool. I think you were the only person that didn't get upset. Like, actually placed your seeding. First seed. Yeah, pretty sure. Gluto got lost. Oh, wait, Gluto. No, 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 no. Sorry, yeah, Gluto. Gluto's fine. Be but Ashmo, Ashmo's in losers. Jogibu's in losers. Wait, no, not Jogibu. Was it Jogibu? Yeah, Jogibu. Jogibu's in losers. Yeah. Stacked lineup at the cafeteria cup, you know? Dinner was served. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I know. Wow, you're crazy with the wordplay. I was winning all, all right. day to say that. <coughs> um, we've done this quite a few times now. We did this once with Semra. We just did it with Kinaji. Yeah. Uh, this is a quick fire round, extreme quick fire round of getting chat to ask you as many absurd questions as possible. Just fire random ass questions at us. He will answer any of them. The Semra yeah. one was really weird. The Semra one was like, people kept asking me, him, like, which Smash player would he eat? Would he eat? Yeah. That's a stupid question, guys. That's a brilliant question. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, as uh, as many as you want, favorite Pokemon? Favorite Pokemon is Lucario. Hate him in Smash, but outside of that, he's actually pretty raw. Do you play VGC? No, I'm not a loser. <laughs> All right. You ever play Showdown? <laughs> Bit of Showdown? Like, once. I'm, I'm really bad at it. That's actually why I can't play it. Mm. Okay. It's Fair too enough. hard for me. Uh, who do you want? No. No. <laughs> no. In, in a, a bit. In, in a, a bit. sec. In a sec, we're doing the Q&A. Okay. Right. Do I mess with Juice World? Like, a couple songs, or one song actually, so I wouldn't say. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do I want to be when I grow up? The best of me that I can possibly be. And hopefully a good Smash player. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Not telling Gimmer that. How many fingers That's is Sean right. holding up? Behind his back, it's three. Oh! Favorite experience in Japan so far? Meeting all the fans, getting to like, you know, hang out around. It's just a very beautiful country, so it's just nice to do that. Uh, could you win in a fist fight versus Sean? I think I can like beat him in a fist fight. Um, I've only ever been in one fight over a football, and I would, so 100% win rate. Yeah, and I was in soccer, and things were crazy back then. I okay, got—I right. think I maybe I got two red cards. Oh, yeah? I don't even know what that is. What is this? Okay, you don't know what soccer is. <laughs> uh, What's your favorite game of Wii Sports? That's a good question. My favorite game of Wii Sports? I've never played Wii Sports. What? I've what? only played the, like, the me stuff, but that's not Wii Sports, right? The me stuff? Like, there's, like, the sword fighting and stuff like that. That's Wii Sports Resort. Uh, I guess it's the same, same thing. I like the sword fighting one. That's the only one I can Me remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one's really good. What position did you play in soccer? Midfield. Were you? Yeah. You actually used... 
Oh. Uh, the only one I couldn't do, I mean, my team, it's not like it was the best team. It was like a local church one. Yeah. Um, only one I didn't do was goalie because I could not play goalie. I, I was so scared of the ball, so I couldn't <laughs> be in goal. There have I been some disturbing the moments. Um, does Sean do the accent when the cameras are off? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> um, favorite Persire Man goods? It's hard to pick a favorite one. I mean, did we have one of the Persire Man goods with us today? We did. Yeah. Where is it? It was on the table. It's looking. Oh, it's trophy. on the French side. It's with the French. I think all of them are beautiful. Actually, I was gifted a pin by one of my fans, and now it's sitting residing on one of my jackets. It is. Um, why do you play Rob? <laughs> so, there's this local Rob player in New York named Dill, and at one local, me and my friend went to it, and I beat Dill in winners, and then in losers I lost. So it was my friend in grands versus Dill, and Dill destroyed my friend really bad. So on the way home, um, me and my friend, we were just like, you know, joking around and stuff like that. And I was like, next time we play in bracket, I'm going to beat you with Rob. I didn't practice Rob at all. And then at our local, I went Rob, and then I beat him. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to pick up Rob now. <laughs> this character's is piss. <laughs> uh, when am I coming to Australia? Unfortunately, Australia is Steve Band, so I can't. For Smash, at least. It's actually, I've seen. Oh, yeah, you put that binding vow on yourself. I swear on God, <laughs> on Jesus Christ himself. Won't be to a Smash tournament with Steve Band. Nope, nope, no sir, we not not in 2024. Yeah, uh, but outside of actual Smash, Australia is actually a very beautiful country, so I would like to visit that. Will you ever bring back the Link? <laughs> well, it seems that you want me to lose a lot, so no. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you smoke cigarettes, Zamba? Absolutely not. That is bad for you. Good man. Uh, what's the most delicious food you ate in Japan? Dude, I'm a degenerate, so a lot of the food that I've had has been mostly the same stuff that I've got most of the time. It's like Coco's. Coco's Ichiban. Good. Uh, what is something that you like about yourself? I would say my amazing personality and handsome looks. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your favorite Minecraft mod? That would be way too hard. That That's going to take way too long. <laughs> way too long. It doesn't matter. I can win every single game and I'll move up like one spot. What character will you go if you face me? Uh, Rob. I think I figured out the matchup. Look, he Rob beats uh, Game & Watch. My favorite Minecraft mod? I don't think I could say it on stream, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 Not on VGBC, at least. What's up, Caleb? What are you studying? Well... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a major yet. He's thinking. He thinking. I, I'm thinking about my major, you know. He's maybe, studying. Maybe he doesn't e know what the fuck he is studying. <laughs> but he's studying. Maybe an esports degree. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on Henry Luma? Phenomenal coach. It was his birthday recently, so I can't say anything bad about him, but, you know, nice guy. Kind of sucks at Smash a little, though. Would you ever turn. Wait, hold on. Would you ever turn from your sin and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior? The unfortunate thing is that I accept Asimo as my Lord and Savior, so it would be kind of hard to fit two of them. But he has to play Cosmos and loses tomorrow, round one. Yeah, Actually, if Cosmos beat me, yes, I won. If Cosmos beat me, they would have had a fight at Umabora. Oh. Favorite band. So it's just pretty like low-key uh, band that's like local to me, Big Time Rush. I don't know if you ever heard of them. <laughs> Pretty good. New secondary Zamba. So, I was thinking about it. Uh, I was watching Mia-san play a lot, and he inspired me. And I think I'm going to pick up Game & Watch when I come back from um, Japan. Really? Yeah. Like, dead ass? Yeah, the deadest of asses? I guess you could say that. Ooh. Do you know any of the Australian Robs? I know Seb Pro. I've known him for a bit. I feel like Sepper is like the only one, though. I knew him back at Smash 4 days. Yeah. I'm a vet. Favorite Japanese ice cream? Uh, black se the sesame one? I think we've had this conversation before. Yeah, that's like really weird that that's your favorite one. It, it's really good. Yeah. If you've that's ever good. come to Japan, I think it's a, a Japanese only thing. Yeah, if you yeah, ever yeah. come to Japan, I definitely recommend it. Mm. Um, how would you feel if you're being hunted by rifles, Zamba? <laughs> 
Well, you see, I have this innate ability inside of me where I'm able to shield art whenever any danger becomes, so I'd actually just use that. Should have tagged. <laughs> Who's the freest top player for you to fight? Hmm. Probably Naosan. That's what I'm saying. Probably Naosan. Um, who were you manning before, Rob? I was a Roy and Link Doom lane. Hmm. Favorite Gen 1 starter? I don't even know the Gen 1 starters. I literally, Bulbasaur, I Charizard, Squirtle. Squirtle's a cutie. Squirtle's a cutie. I give it up to him. Bold ass head. <laughs> <laughs> what is Sean's favorite ice cream? Let me guess. You okay. like vanilla? No, 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 no. My favorite, it's like a Japanese uh, Hagen Dots. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Japanese specific Hagen Dots that's like this thing called Kinako, which is, I can't describe it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really nice. But if it's like normal, it'll probably be like butterscotch or something. Normal, and then you said butterscotch. Oh, you are you are from Britain. Yeah. You and 23 other top players are put into a Hunger Games arena. Who's winning? It depends on the top players. Um, I would say I'm pretty crafty. I've had a couple of Nerf Wars in my <laughs> young age. Same. So I think I'll be able to do that. He could beat Big D in like a scrap. If if it's a straight on fist fight, yeah. probably not. Yeah, maybe but not. But if like... You got the range. Yeah, like if I'm able to climb a tree and then yeah. he can't catch me, like I think I could time him out. <laughs> Are you thinking about getting waves? You know, I've thought about it, but I don't know exactly how that would go for me. <laughs> Which pro player do you struggle the most against? It's probably just the Game Watch players because they play a generational character. Who would you main based strictly on liking the character slash their games? So, this is uh, an unknown fact about me. I don't play video games like that. You see? Like, I don't even play Smash like that because it's, like, lucky a bad game. But some of the games that I do play, they're more of the, like, non-Nintendo-based, and they're not even in Smash. So, if it's, like, only based on games I play, I guess it's just Cloud because I've just been playing Final Fantasy right now. Yeah. Technically, I'll be like Spago song. I'm basically the same with Xenoblade, because the Xenoblade games are so fun. Who's your favorite war criminal? Sean from school. Uh, full, I don't know what that means. When are you going to win a super major? You've been past Duke. Crown 3 was a super major, bro. I've already done it. I'm, like, retired. <laughs> <laughs> Do I mess with so Pac-Man? T-San. Yeah, I, I really like T. I don't know about Pac-Man. Remember Final Stock from Smash 4? I do. I actually do. I remember all of my oldness. Who do you want? <laughs> who do you want to fight as Japanese that you never fight? Me and Aklev like barely played for how like high up on the rankings we both are. So I just want to get another set with him. When will you beat John Numbers at a local on a rainy day? Probably never. That's just so there's just some things that you're just never able to do. Favorite pizza. I'm pretty humble, so I like the normal, just like normal slices. And well, stuff. like margarita. Pizza. Yeah, margarita is good. Yeah. But it's if it's what anything. What do you mean normal? Just like a normal. Like bread. It's not even anything on it. No <laughs> toppings. It's just dough. <laughs> no, nah, normal pizza is just like cheese. It's just like cheese pizza, bro. Not even any tomatoes. Like anyway. Whoa. You know, what, you know what a vodka pizza is? Vodka pizza. Whatever it is, it sounds brilliant. It's really good. Sign me up. I what, what, explain. I, I don't really know how to explain. You know vodka sauce? No. I'll show everyone vodka sauce. All right. Vodka pizza. Okay. I like the idea of vodka and pizza. <laughs> it's oh. not like what you're thinking. Oh. It's like this. Not really. Uh... Okay, these are okay. like low-key, really garbage pictures of it. Uh. Please convince Sean to drop Falcon. I'm not that Sean. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I don't think I'm, you should play Falcon I'm anymore, bro. Sorry, yeah, I'll stop. Uh, what's the most busted character that not enough people complain about? Meta Knight. Character is unedge guardable. Character is zero to death you all the time. Character has a kill throw. Character has a disjoint. Literally has everything. Multiple jumps. Actually, the best character in the game, straight up. Very anti-meta, too. Uh, let's see. 
diagonal cut sandwiches or horizontal? I think I'm more of a horizontal type of guy. <sighs> I'm diagonal. Do you want to fight? Yeah, bro. Let's fight. <laughs> Do you try Japanese pizza? Um, we went to, what is it pronounced? Caesarea. We went to Caesarea, yeah. and I got uh, pizza from Caesarea. It, <laughs> it was fine. It's, it's fine. It's just like, it's pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah. As an as sad. an Italian, as a pure blood Italian, I can't say it's good. Yeah. And, but well, it's not good. No. But, very, yeah, cheap. very cheap. Yeah. If you're it's broke, then all power to you. Yeah. But <laughs> why do you think Isaac is the size area jacket? It's yeah, because he Isaac's broke. Pretty broke. Cafeteria cup. Yeah, cafeteria put cup. Put big his hole in his learning. earnings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, how many stocks would Sean from school take against you in a best of five? Nine. <laughs> Three, yeah. No, one wouldn't, wouldn't even be close. The question is, how much damage would Zombo be able to <laughs> deal in a best of five? <laughs> I think I would be able to get, like, two or three hits on you. Maybe four. You, you, maybe, yeah, okay, fine. One up air and they're all um, multi-hits. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. What's the Rob slash Hero matchup? Um, I don't read the menu, so I feel like if I did read the menu, it would be a little easier, but Rob still wins. I think reading the menu is lame. I don't really care what they do. Are you a hot dog kind of guy? Nah, I'm not really a glizzy warrior. Um, tea Kazi or tea Pac-Man? I just like tea, just in general. Green tea, too. Oh, that's a happy ending tutorial. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to go on my Twitch later, there will be a late night stream where I prepare for a cafeteria cup, and there will be some tutorials, and I'll teach everyone something new. Um, what are your thoughts on Hungry Box? I think Hungry Box is one of the most one of the most people of all time. You know, he's the goat. He's an Evo. Ch is he an Evo champion? Yeah. He's an Evo champion. He plays. Jigglypuff, which automatically kind of docks some points against him. However, <laughs> he's actually a really nice guy. Me and, me and Hungrybox have had lengthy discussions. About uh, what? What do you even talk about? We talk about a lot of things. <laughs> uh, would you prefer to have to fight a orangutan once a year or a chicken every time you enter a car? <laughs> like, do I have weapons? Oh, well, if, actually, so my grandpa, he used to um, he used to have a farm, and so he did have chickens and stuff like that. So I actually have, like, experience in a matchup. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. But... Did you ever fight the chickens growing up, though? <laughs> Probably not. If you consider, like, having to pick them up and move them back in their pen, then maybe... I think it's more so, like, do I gotta, like, K-word them, or can I just, like... Just go in my car. I guess you can shove them off the side. They are only chickens. What are your thoughts on Banjo? So, you know how I was talking about how Mennonite's the best character in the game? <laughs> I actually retract that statement. <laughs> and I think Banjo is the best character in the game. <laughs> um, do your best O2 -er impression. Stop. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> I'm a really good player. I'm a 2 2 -er, guys. I'm a 2 2 -er in Japan. I enter brackets every now and then. I do mid. I win, I, I win like my round one and then I have to play like like a cola will just be there round two and I'll so, be like uh, why literally why so unfair um, she's a 10 but she's a game watch man what is she bro she's an 11 she could teach me to match up she's still a 10 probably very skilled in smash because you need to be really good at smash to main game and watch and yeah so humble. 100 Pikmin sized Robs or 10 Rob sized Pikmin? Well, huh? Rob is still very short. He's like a toy. So, regardless, I think it's like low key really free. I think you just take the 10. You know? Alright. I think. Oh, 10 years old? Okay, well. We're about to get into the QM problem. segment. We're going to SSQM? You guys are going to watch me win in <laughs> an even faker game mode in Ultimate. Yeah, so I think. Neo, Senra, Daisuke also seems to be down. I'll probably also play a bit as well. Uh. So, for quick context, guys, everyone in chat, 
SSQM is a very popular Japanese game mode. It's base alt, but with spirits. It's a certain spe set spirit that you have to have that gives both players uh, fast falling, um, a lot more slicker movement, and zero landing lag. And it makes the game a bit different, a lot more melee-esque, and it's very fun. It's like HDR, but like get rid of the crack. Yeah, it's chat. Like, it's like, <laughs> I can't can you guess that. my game uh, <laughs> in SSQM? I think SSQM is pretty funny. Yeah, so we 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 have Nemra, we got Seo, Nemra and Seo, Senra, we got Neo, <laughs> we got Zamba playing, we got me. I'll probably play. I'm the greatest Kirby of all time in yeah, SSQM. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally we so sick. We were grinding so much yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Future of me brawler? Nah. I play only the hard characters in every game I play, so you guys gotta like think deep. <laughs> it's HDR, but good. Yeah, pretty much. え、じゃあもう、ゲーム配信する。おてだ。映ってない。おお、映ってる。ちょっとあの、あれが邪魔だわ。Rob is a hard character. Do you not realize how much yeah. skill you need to outplay your opponents with Rob? Is this full play QM? Oh my god, it is four player. Low key, eight player smash, SSQM. Lock it in. That sounds terrible. We could do smash down. Mm. We could do smash down. Yeah. Only problem is no hate smash downs. Yeah, we know. But he we could just force him to because he can't win. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't, can't even play random. Do I like low tier god? I think he has some funny clips, but I can't say that I'm a, like an active LTG like tier 3 sub. I remember whoever's in chat that's from the UK might know who I'm talking about or just EU in general. There used to be an Isabel player from the UK that I remember from the, that used to like be very active in the EU Smash Ultimate like online Discord server yeah. that I used to like very occasionally check whenever I was back. And he, I can't remember his name. But all I remember is that he played Isabel. He was very, very good. And he was like cooled out all the time for being like a mega toxic player Not like me. and he used to play wi-fi all the time and like at one point he got someone like exposed him and like found out that he was like a mod for low tier god like a twitch chat mod it makes so much more sense and then like people started taking the piss out of him a bunch <laughs> and then like he got so mad that like he did something that got him banned from the Discord. <laughs> I forgot what it was, but he did something. Yeah, very weird story. I wonder if people remember that. Who are you at tier 3 sub to? Pokemon, Amaranth, Valkyrie, uh, Hungrybox. Uh, is there any more hot tub streamers? And like Amaranth. I said that. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Void. Yeah, Void is my favorite hot tub streamer. Gaxon. Gax yeah. <laughs> dude, I love his shower clips, dude. Oh my god. Opinions on the country of Liechtenstein. Hmm. I've. I think it's a pretty high country. Pretty chill. Liechtenstein is. Yeah, I don't really know too much about Liechtenstein. Yeah. yeah I'm right. good with geography, but I don't know. Don't about you, can't lie. I'm pretty good at geography. I can pound out like California, Texas, Florida. <laughs> All those countries. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on that Sorry Man shower photo? I have so many thoughts that I'm not even able to like put it out in a sentence that is like conceivable to the human brain. So that's all I got to say about it. What do you think, Villager Rob matchup? How does chat have Rob? so many questions for you? Like, they never stop running out of questions. I'm an answering guy, I guess you could say. Can I, I have some questions too, please? So, Sean wants some questions, guys. Would Up you be able to point out Algeria in a map? Nigeria? Algeria. Algeria, yeah, yeah, it's like right next to Egypt. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I can't like vouch that. It's in between California 
and Utah. <laughs> I actually don't know anything about states. Like, yeah, they're, they're pretty hard to know. I know nothing about the states of America. They're close enough. Close enough. Uh, I like so how like zero people are asking questions. Uh, <laughs> What do you like to cook? I actually can't cook. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> How can you not I just cook? realized my answers are like really bad. I can cook like easy stuff, but like what? Um, noodles. Cereal. <laughs> Cereal. I can with cook milk? up. A, I can cook up an insane toast. Want to go dog sweating with me? That actually sounds like a. Sean, what's your favorite time. color? Oh, uh, 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 green, probably. <laughs> I like green. Green, green's cool. I'm an environmental science major student, so. Tell you're gonna I go have to so like far green. in life. How does it feel to be a zombie shadow the whole time? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not in zombie shadow. If you think about it, I'm in his. I'm in his shadow. Yeah, exactly. Sean can cook with the microwave. Yep. <laughs> Don't even mess with juice. <laughs> what's, what's, what's with the juice world guy? What's with the juice? Yeah, yeah. I like juice world. My favorite song is. I still see your shadows in my room. No. I don't like that one. I like all girls are the same. It's probably. That if you had to live true. in one country for the rest of your life, never leave, what would you choose? <sighs> uh, I feel like I'd get sick of Japan eventually. Maybe I'd actually just straight up say the UK. I'd never live in America. That's controversial. I'd, I'd love to go to America, but I'd never live in America. For sure. You've angered me. <laughs> <laughs> Have I? What's your first, second favorite juice song? <laughs> What's with the... Um, 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 and your third. What juice or songs do I like? Uh, I'm in my flat pants. <laughs> I can't finish the rest of the song. What songs. player base is the most carried? What character did I lose to recently? What part of the UK are you from? In Birmingham right now, pray for me. <laughs> uh, I'm from, like, I was born in a district called Richmond in West London. Yeah. I think it's Puff. The most carried player in base is Puff. Uh, <laughs> snake. <laughs> okay, it actually is Snake. That's actually so true. Yeah. Do you go to Japanese or English school? I go to English schools and then I went to a Japanese Saturday school, which is why I know Japanese. Um, Favorite clothing brands? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, uh, I don't know Chat, what my favorite clothing we're getting brands. kicked off of the... Um, of off of here because our corrupt TO Ron and Lunch son doesn't like us talking. Oh good us. Oh yeah, I do understand Spanish. Hablo Espanol. Un poco Un poco Hablo Espanol. Me llamo Zuma. Okay. Voy fui fui un colegio Con Spanish classes. M. Caleo is muy mal. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, you just calling him out like that? Not the robo. <laughs> alright, alright, let's end it out. Let's end it out. Yeah, that's enough Thanks questions. For having me. Thank you for watching day one of Cafeteria Cup. We've had all our pools games, we've had a lovely guy a time. A lovely guy as well next to us. Managed to get it secure in first seat of his. Oh wow, well done. We've had some crazy upsets. Kinaji obviously went ham, fucking sandwich, and uh, we're about to get into the final bracket tomorrow. We have eight players in winner's side, eight players in loser's side. It's double elimination bracket, and everything is going to be wrapped up within the space of about 24 hours. So please, please, please be there for that, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.